bad sport. If I lose, like, I'll go ape shit or cry or attack people. I'll literally attack people. I get really, really competitive. They thrive on winning. In fact, I'm not sure there is, <laughs> Who is this? Cut the doctor. anything more important to a narcissist than... <laughs> Top five things narcissists do when they lose. Especially when you can't win a level in a game. Do you have anger issues? Maybe I do have anger issues. Do you have a problem with that? Do you? <sighs> I'm like, dude, are, are you seeing this? A random Q&A video from how many years ago of her just like messing around being goofy on camera, like punching, the, pretending to punch the camera saying I have anger issues and you're using this clip as a genuine display. This is literally Shane Dawson Jake Paul 2018. Pretty absurd way to go about explaining this situation and going about telling this story. You know, you're taking severely clipped out of context clips of Sniper Wolf, raging at a video game, responding in like a goofy, quirky way in some of her Q&As years ago, and you're taking it as a display of a like genuine admission of her being a violent person. Like that's absurd. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're not aware, Nerd City, huge commentary channel, who in the past, has made videos, <laughs> we are monkeys. Okay. <laughs> but uh, this guy has made, um, if you're not familiar with him, he has a huge history of going over exposing Jake Paul, making videos on Jake Paul, going over Tanamanku, stuff like that. Huge YouTuber, um, pretty respected in the space, except in like the inner commentary circle. I know he's had some drama with Boblax, which was pretty spurgy on his end. Um, also, he did a collab video with Colossal's Crazy on JStation. This is this huge video I'm sure that you've heard of. But um, most recently, his next target is going at Sniper Wolf. But um, most recently, uh, like five months ago, not, damn, it's been five months since the video came out. He did an interview slash video on Sniper Wolf exposing her with Azzyland, who's another like reaction cancer YouTuber, both like two sides of the same coin. But essentially just calling out Sniper Wolf for copying um, Azzyland. And now he's doing a follow up video where... <laughs> I've only seen like 20 minutes of this, so I pre-watched a little bit of it, but it takes a hilarious turn where he starts explaining and trying to diagnose this girl as a narcissist, like inside of this YouTube exposed video. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. I don't know why this guy, this guy seems very fucking spurgy from what I've seen from him. He's got good production value. He seems like a decent creator, but... Holy shit, this video is rough. So I wanted to go over this. This is when Sniper Wolf loses. This happens. Narcissism explained. So uh, here we go. Ebook for the priesthood of psychology. All right, let's go uh, from the top. SS Sniper Wolf attacks women online who make her feel jealous. She also attacks them in person when they're just minding their own business. Sniper Wolf calls herself a psychopath. She has. So uh, <laughs> 10 seconds. Sniper Wolf has physically assaulted someone. He's she's attacked someone. Okay. Okay. You know, I'm I'm hoping we get some concrete, you know, bulletproof evidence for that. <laughs> I, I really hope so. You know, in the 20 minutes that I've seen of this video so far, didn't show any, but crazy huge statement to make. When they're just mine. I mean, Sniper Wolf probably is a narcissist, but Nerd's not qualified to say that. I mean, yeah, how cringe is it to be like, dude, just make a YouTube video exposing someone. How cringe do you have to be to like go above and beyond armchair psychologist and say, not only in this, is this girl a hypocrite, a loser, and you know, a, hor a potential like horrible person morally or whatever. You have to go above and beyond and say, they're all, I'm also, I also think they're a narcissist. This is a video where I'm explaining narcissism. It's like, okay, dude. Let's pipe down, but um, you know, granted, I haven't watched the whole thing yet, so let's see. Maybe he does. Maybe he does fully diagnose her successfully, and he has a he has a degree that we're not aware of. Finding their own business. Sniper Wolf calls herself a psychopath. She has homicidal fantasies. Fantasies of me like beating the shit out of them or like killing them, and and they'll just like feel so good. It gets me going. Other celebrity. So, already. <laughs> okay, Smaggle, you're unmuted. <laughs> Let me out of the cage. I'm not a damn ape at the zoo. Yes, you are. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. <laughs> but I'm um, already using clips of Sniper Wolf saying that she has homicidal tendencies. Play that back one more time. She has homicidal fantasies. Fantasies, fantasies of me like beating the shit out of them or like killing them, and, and they'll just like feel so good. It gets me going. Other celebrities. So, <laughs> like, this is going to be a crazy video. Sorry for just fucking overly pausing, but, like, 
These are crazy statements to say off the jump. And it seems like these are like, of course, it's an intro, so it's going to be clip chimped and hopefully it gets expanded on for further context. But you're going to have to meet a huge bar of evidence to back up the things you're saying in this intro. Um, Liberties who've been penned in with her at an event have seen her suddenly snap into a violent rage with no warning. There's a big crazy story involving Sniper Wolf that you probably haven't heard about. Come beneath Jesus. the wings and the musty scalp um, into the mind of a malignant narcissist and learn what's real and what's fake in the spiraling tower of projection built by the world's favorite greasy-haired YouTuber. Malignant narcissist. Deny. Your favorite greasy hair YouTuber. She got some greasy hair. Oh! He says you have to take a shower. I think I've went a month without showering before. That <laughs> Dude, I'm not, I'm not joking. Like, did, am I just gonna get baited this video? He goes from saying that Sniper Wolf has physically attacked someone, has physically assaulted someone, saying she's a malignant narcissist, has homicidal fantasies, to then his intro being, dude, and plus. She doesn't take enough showers. What do you mean? That's, what that's if I watch actually it? a great criticism. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, what Wait, am you I... like the fucking greasy ghost, dude? What am Is I watching so far? <laughs> okay, Smack, you're going to have to tone down the autism for this one. <laughs> what do you mean, turn down the... <laughs> but, like, this is... I mean, I'm just like... I, I, when I first saw this, I was just like, am I, am I getting... Is this just bait? was really cool. I said I don't take a shower. Now that I think about it, I haven't showered in and it keeps what going. seems to be like weeks. Are you serious? I would rather not shower for three months. It's not just a one-off comment. Not, unless you don't shower and you smell. I cannot wash my own hair. You know, if you're not gonna wash your hair, just cut the whole thing off. All your nasty, crusty, dandruff, flaky, greasy hair particles. Some nasty, greasy hair YouTuber. This just look like a big old ball spot. Strands of hair. Think about the research for this autistic intro. Struggling to cover that bald spot. No, I could almost Holy. see your brain. If there was one. Oh, nasty. Why am I still getting hate? At a major gaming event, Sniper Wolf assaulted a woman who wasn't even <laughs> looking in her direction. Who told what? <laughs> like... Dude, that's gotta be on purpose, right? That's like the internet a J, you know. <laughs> Mini Lad was more sus than a character from Among Us. And then he proceeded to, like, touch a minor. Touch a little kid. <laughs> like, wait. We go from greasy hair to... Sniper Wolf is a criminal. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, nasty! Bro! At a major game, Sniper Wolf assaulted a woman who wasn't even looking in her direction. Who told you? If you've been around esports or YouTube drama for a while, you might remember this event because this was a big breakout moment for Ninja. This is a Fortnite OG Tyler Blevins dyes his hair blue Epic Games and Fortnite Blevins moment. Who's this guy with the, with the hair? What's what's that? What's the deal there? Also joining us today, Sniper Wolf. And Sniper Wolf embarrassed herself in more ways than one. Billed as the pro gamer in a pro amateur duo, Sniper Wolf was outplayed by everyone on the stage that day, including the amateur playing with a bucket on his head. Dude, I'm sorry. Am I just am I being hypercritical or have we gone from Malignant narcissist, physical assaulter, to greasy hair, back to physically assaulting Azzyland, we now know who she, who she physically assaulted apparently, to now going back to, she got outperformed in a Fortnite tournament, and she isn't good at Fortnite. This is, this is context for the assault. <laughs> it's context that she, oh, I guess so, I guess, because she got mad and then assaulted someone. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? What do you mean? Am I okay? You're fucking overanalyzing this shit. Without Am I? Doesn't it this doesn't it seem a little like like the frame like the way he's going about telling it? Okay, you know what? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You know, maybe. Hey, shouldn't you fucking explain how someone? Okay. Can, shouldn't you explain the context, dude? It's just like it's just you know what you know. You know, yeah, sure. fucking spy, you, I, you know, I'll take the, I'll take the Spurgeon out here. I'm just saying it's it's it sets a pattern because I know what comes in the future. Um, but it just all said and done, her team finished tied for dead last with zero points. She got eliminated early in all three rounds of the tournament. 
In fact, she turned in such a poor performance that she barely appears on screen at all. In the entire 3.5 hour broadcast, blink and you would miss her. Hi, bro. Hello. She's like playing to the competition, but she Smaggle was like very one. first Smaggle person. Smaggle W. I, I didn't see this, but people said that she died within like a few seconds. I'm posting my suicide. What many who were there note. did witness off camera That's was bad. Sniper Wolf <laughs> getting involved in altercations. The first of which was a screaming match with her partner, Evan. He can't play for her live. <laughs> When I don't get my way, I, I scream, and I scream really loud. Sniper Wolf and the man who now claims to have been playing for her at home were observed to be furious with each other immediately after her last play. Yeah, apparently she faked her gameplay like all these years, and it's just her boyfriend, like, like doing it all these years. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like I'm surprised, but lol. He's finish. Ah! Killing her. <laughs> doing so badly in Fortnite. Yeah, I think that's what why it was. He was probably like... He was probably was like coaching her to like be good at that, and he left. I hate being alone. I don't like going anywhere without sausage or my mom or somebody. I know I have to be with one of them, preferably sausage. One thing we forget about narcissistic folks is they don't like abandonment. I have really bad. <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> dude? This is what. I... One more time. <laughs> this is what I mean. Are you kidding me? Like be good at that. And he left. I hate being alone. I don't like going anywhere without sausage or my mom or somebody. I know I have to be with one of them, preferably sausage. One thing we forget. <laughs> Dude, she says, you know, I don't really like going places alone as a girl. I like to usually be with my mom or my boyfriend. Cuts to doctor saying one thing about narcissistic people that you don't understand is that they don't like being alone. Yeah, n yeah the majority of people don't. Yeah, the majority of people don't like being alone. Like, this just seems, like, this seems a little fucking ridiculous. My mom or somebody, I know I have to be with one of them, preferably sausage. One thing we forget about narcissistic folks is they don't like abandonment. I <laughs> they don't like abandonment. Like, give me a break. Holy shit. I have really bad separation anxiety. Use their abandonment issues to control them. You gotta keep the kitty on it. <laughs> what is this? Separation anxiety. Use their... Uh, he got a diagnosed sociopath on for this video, or did you just like take this from TikTok? It's so over dramatized, dude. This is what I mean. How to control a narcissist? <laughs> like this, this comes across as parody. Their abandonment issues to control them. You gotta keep the kitty on edge. Pretend yeah. to break up with her. <laughs> you gotta do a lot, of, a lot of things, you know. You're the puppet master now. He make he makes me what? inhale his poop. Who's the real psychopath here, the dude or the girl? And unfortunately, this was not her only skirmish of the evening. Everybody knows when you lose in an argument, all you gotta do is- This may be a tad stupid, but it shouldn't take away from the fact that Sniper Stalker Wolf still sucks. Dude, okay. You, guys, two things can coexist at the same time. Okay, it is absurd to play a random clip of Sniper Wolf saying that she doesn't like going places without her boyfriend or mom, and then cut to a doctor saying that this is actually a characteristic of narcissism that people don't that narcissists narcissists don't like being abandoned so therefore like what sniper wolf is now diagnosed like that is Which absurd is made on fucking speed what is that something like I, I would love to be a fly on fucking ned city's wall like how the fuck did this video get made Dude, that's what i want to know four dude. minutes in dude this is he's gonna be explaining narcissism in this video this is yeah. this video is fucking hilarious um he like <laughs> what is narcissistic copying Nar he goes to a whole chapter narcissistic personality disorder diagnostic criteria <laughs> dude it's literally the bit from the keemstar content cop of items going over the traits of a sociopath except it's real Except he's genuinely doing that. Traits of a narcissistic person. Sniper Wolf. And he's genuinely like going over these things and acting as if it's a like like it's a real case he's got here. But okay, you know what? I've only seen 20 minutes pre-watched, so maybe, you know, maybe there's something I I'm just prefacing everything I say. But so far, this like, seems absurd. This was not her only skirmish of the evening. Everybody knows when you lose an This is like Shane, da Shane Dawson trying to diagnose Jake Paul's associate. Exact dude, that's the first thing I thought of when I uh, was watching this. Argument. All you gotta do is start screaming. I'm one of those lovely people that as soon as I get mad, they take out all their frustration. When I get mad, it's real quick. When I get mad, I get really mad. After failing to assault other internet celebrities within the game, 
she made up for it in real life. Just like Just she like always random clips knew of her saying she, she gets mad when she I loses. I never had time to practice or go to events and compete. And not to mention, I am a very bad sport. If I lose, like, I'll go ape shit or cry or attack people. I'll literally attack people. I get really, really competitive. They thrive on winning. In fact, <laughs> I'm not sure there is. Who is this? Cut the doctor. Anything more important to a narcissist than. <laughs> Top five things narcissists do when they lose. Dude. Winning. In fact, I'm not sure there is anything more important to a narcissist than winning. So when they fail at something, you need to brace yourself because you are likely going to see some behaviors you never dreamed you would see exhibited by a full grown adult. <laughs> you would never dream to see. Guys, Sniper Wolf doesn't like losing. <laughs> Here's my allegation story. I mean, come on. I mean, dude, the way he's just framing this. He could have a real story here, but the way he's framing this is so funny so far. Never dreamed you would see exhibited by a full grown adult. She played poorly and then attacked people. Narcissistic rage is an explosive combination of hostility. Dr. And Todd anger Grande? That comes about when a narcissist has their sense Did he, like, do a whole bunch of cameos <laughs> like, for this video, hiring like 50 different doctors to diagnose this bitch? Self threatened. Essentially, the narcissist is having to face their own inferiority, which is something they are not able to do. They cannot accept the fact that they are not perfect. The narcissist becomes aggressive in order to distract themselves, eliminate the source of the shame, or to blame the painful feelings on someone else. Asshole killed me. Narcissistic people are very- <laughs> Dude, this is- Smaggle, we're getting- we're getting- this is- this is a- we got parodied. We got punked. Completely. We got baited. Plays a clip, like a one second clip of Sniper Wolf screaming, playing Agario, playing a video game, and cuts, bet smashed it between two doctors giving their diagnosis. Or to blame the painful feelings on someone else. Asshole killed me. Narcissistic people are very reactive. Ah! Jesus. Ah, when they're frustrated, when they're disappointed. Why? Because it means they're not perfect. It means they're not the grandiose ideal that they've created for themselves to protect themselves from that cauldron of shame. That's Doc, she's playing a video game. She's playing a video game, man. I mean, if you, if you genuinely, I, I haven't seen it yet, but if you genuinely have proof that she assaulted someone at this Fortnite tournament, just explain and detail the event of that alleged assault. Don't, like, poison the well with all of these ridiculous examples beforehand. Why would you do that? You're just, like, making yourself come across as so spurgy. Because these are ridiculous examples. Deal that they've created she's for themselves. She's raging playing a video game. And you're acting as if, like, this is a pattern of behavior? Like, a, a, like an extreme pattern? Like, no, dude, you're, you're, this is a crazy reach. Just stick to the actual story of uh, apparently alleged assault. To protect themselves. Her screaming in her bedroom is not. It's always bubbling up. I <laughs> threw my headset example. off and then I went to go cry in the bathroom for a little bit. And then I had to come back on stream and pretend like I was okay. <laughs> okay, I kind of overreacted. Out of the blue, from the side hatch, basically, launches Sniper Wolf and has to be restrained. You want to know? Dude, what does Colossal think of this? <laughs> I feel bad for Colossal, dude. He's been put into a place where he's had to, like, defend indefensible people in the past. Like, back in the beta days, he had to, like, defend Leafy when he was indefensible. Because I think he was friends with the guy. <laughs> and now I assume he's going to have nerds back, even though this is ridiculous. <laughs> Launches I mean, he's, sniper. he's capable of uh, not defending people like uh, Pyocynical. He, he didn't defend Pyo at all. He called him a fucking weird fucking freak. Well, Wolf. Well, in of itself, that's kind of defending him. Granted, I don't really know the full scheme of the Pyro stuff. But, um, I mean, calling him a weird freak is kind of getting Pyro off. I mean, he was accused of being a pedophile. So, um, that's kind of the easy way out. Everyone's going to call him a weird freak given those DM leaks of fat furry fart porn. And has to be restrained. You want to know a recap of what happened? Sure. Okay, so basically, uh... Huh? What is this? Wait, I mean... As he names at least six witnesses to the assault... 
Afterwards, I followed up. Others verified the story and asked not to be named. They were named. Like in a circle, and I was walking. I walked in the bathroom, and then I, when I was walking back, I saw them, and they're like, "Hey, Ozzy!" And even though, and then I was like, "It's not close there." And I'm like, "Oh, you know what? Just just be nice." And I just walk over, and then I go into the, in there, and I got really awkward, so I started like just say, telling an embarrassing story of myself, and uh, she just like is looking at me. She's silent, and she's like like angry and then she like lunges at me and I don't remember like exact details because it was just fucking terrifying got in between and like pulled her off me and then I assume that was a person they took her back into the room and then I was out there and they were like what the fuck was that <laughs> it was just like it, what is that the story so oh yeah she was like oh yeah she was screaming at me she's like Wait, so the story is that Sniper Wolf lost at a video game at this a Fortnite event, saw Azzyland, got visibly mad, lunged at her, then someone came in between before Sniper Wolf made contact, took her off, and Sniper Wolf was screaming as she was being pulled away. That's the story? A bunch of words I can't actually say on YouTube, but- And I also do, do have to mention, S Nerd City didn't preface any of this by saying it was allegations. Like, he said that- she sniper wolf attacked someone sniper wolf is physically assaulted um Azuland. i presume it's Azuland, uh, right um or someone at, at the bare minimum sniper wolf physically assaulted someone at this um event so just keep that in mind these aren't allegations it's apparently fact for this guy the one sentence i can say is she goes you fake your game plan and then charges towards me swinging. This is an Azzyland only channel from now on. Sniper Wolf is no longer my best friend. Azzyland is my best friend. Leah had to be physically pulled off of Azzy. Okay, Azra to be fair was... though, he did he did confirm it with other YouTubers, but at the same time, you just have to believe him because he doesn't say which YouTubers they were. So we don't we don't Yeah, that's not trustworthy at all though. Know. That's not trustworthy at all. It's 100% true. I was told the story, but when I did my video, the source told me not to put it in my video. It's 100% true. How do you know it's 100%? I mean, I trust Henry. I mean, I trust Henry, but I'm not <laughs> trustworthy enough of your word to like outright say 100% for a fact this did happen um, when I haven't seen anything myself. And uh, yeah. Was dragged away screaming and clawing. Yes, this was me, the child with the anger issues. Who would never back down from a fight. And I scream really loud. You know that high-pitched scream that girls do? I'm not even gonna do it for you guys, just to spare you headphone users. <laughs> Nerd City's got balls, too, to say this, not even say allegedly, on his video. And at the same time, can't even come forward with the witnesses' names. Because uh, they want to stay anonymous. Um. <laughs> When the narcissist what is that supposed to prove? <laughs> says something hurtful. Another they doctor. Recount how they said something hurtful in the past, That's saying it, or okay. as they're remembering that they said it and talking about it. How, why narcissists win the war of attrition? You see again. He does not have to say allegedly because it happened. I mean, Henry, I hear you, man, but I haven't seen any evidence. Um. What was the other thing you said? 99% I was not there, but the person that told me went into way more detail. Um, all right, man. I mean, I hear you, but of course, like, you could understand my position. I just haven't seen anything. In the sense of relief. You're wrong, your Henry. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Why, he's fucking. Kind of you got a fan so fiction. It was all, it was all a dream. <laughs> but that even makes it more hilarious, dude. It, I, honestly, I'm inclined, you know what? If, if, on the presumption that this 100% did happen, how funny is it that this guy genuinely has a real story of physical assault? <laughs> and this is the way he's going about telling the story. Bringing up random clips from cameos or random YouTube videos of doctors <laughs> talking about narcissism and trying to diagnose Sniper Wolf at the same time. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. That is absurd. That's an absurd way to go around te about telling the story. I hate when people try to psychoanalyze, especially parasocially with an online personality. I mean, this is ridiculous. They'll smile sometimes. Trust me, bro. Nerd would not risk a defamation lawsuit from Sniper Wolf, who has the means to sue. I'm, I don't. I mean, hey man, I don't know what to tell you. I, I've said everything I can, but I hear you. Like even just the memory of it what a brings a little bit of joy. I hate you. 
But everybody heard about it. Everybody was like coming up to me all night saying like, wow, you have anger issues. <laughs> Why do you scream so much? Just I mean, I'm, uh, yeah, just 100% clarify one more time. I'm not against the idea. Just, you know, of course, I haven't seen anything. Especially when you can't win a level in a game. Do you have anger issues? Maybe I do have anger issues. Do you have a problem with that? Do you? <laughs> like, dude, are, are you seeing this? A random Q&A video from how many years ago of her just like messing around being goofy on camera? Like punching, the, pretending to punch the camera saying I have anger issues and you're using this clip as a genuine display. This is literally Shane Dawson, Jake Paul, 2018. Holy shit, man. I can't help my anger. Whenever I get mad at a game, I get really mad and I can't help it. Maybe they can't help it. I'm telling you, obviously, <laughs> they can. And if they couldn't, Mel, they'd never be as successful as they are. Or they'd be screaming in shareholder meetings. They'd be screaming at everyone. Sometimes they do, but they tend to scream at what they consider low value targets. Come on. That to is disgusting. People. The people who saw True. it never made a video about this. Probably to like preserve their reputation as drama free. Like, just tell us the story about what happened. The other shit is so weird. Yeah, like, dude, is he just trying to beef up the video? What is this? And because that's not the kind of content that they normally make. Who told you? Now I need to know. When people would find out about it secondhand, they would inquire about it. And as he would ask them, please don't make a video about this. Probably shouldn't mention it. Man. She did not want the drama. I mean, I don't want to comment on this. But in those, you know, sort of upper social circles, it's been known for years that there is a prominent creator who is... <laughs> okay, good baits. You know what? I'm getting baited today. All right, I've had like a week off from <laughs> from streaming. I'm getting freshly baited. Lurik simping hard for Sniper Wolf right now. <laughs> you are, dude, you... I just, you know, you're getting, you're getting time. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna time you out, but you're just completely retarded if, if you think this is simping. <laughs> like, give me, dude. Has a screw loose in their head. I mean, there was this one bitch who talked so much on me online, and then she came up to me, smiled, and tried to hug me. I'm like, you call me stupid and ugly, we throw on hands. And women, especially, should stay away from her. The rest of the night, everybody made sure like she was on the opposite side of the room. Frenchy's fine, thank you for the five. Nerd a City video, this and that. The real story is, uh, when's the next Discord gooning session? You got brothers in the chat just waiting, bro. Not me, though. Thank you, Frenchy's Fry. Thank you for the dono. It's me. She gonna make me commit a crime. Thank you for all the don donos. Thank you for all the... For all the memberships. The rest of the night, everybody made sure like she was on the opposite side of the room as me. She gonna make me commit a crime. Bro, you gonna make me do something violent. These hands are rated E. Dude, this this editing is absurd. I feel like I'm watching a big bungee video, which a big bungee video is great, but not when you're the one literally breaking the story of a physical assault. Like, what are these edits? You know, like these are meme edits in a genuine story where you're trying to break the news that Sniper Wolf physically assaulted someone. <laughs> these hands are rated E for everyone. <laughs> what is happening? It's me. She gonna make me commit a crime. Bro, you gonna make me do something violent. These hands are rated E for everyone. I would've popped him right then and there. <laughs> and then as soon as you put your guard down, it's just like. Boom. In the Jesus. last episode of Nerdline. We saw how right, Sniper Wolf right. was copying elements from Azzyland that had already proven to be popular. A piece of wood used to mix paint for 50 years. Used to mix paint for 50 years. Imagine how cool this would be like people like were a little more creative though. And they were like, pink, blue, yellow, purple. I mean, it would have been cooler if y'all used like brighter colors or something. It's the same kind of, kind of content. She's just a liar though. She's stealing everything and has been for a very long time. The easiest examples to find by simply looking at the dates and comparing them are the hundreds of thumbnails and titles that Sniper Wolf used after Azzyland. It is astounding to see how many videos Sniper Wolf has legitimately- Yeah, so this is basically what he covered like last Last video he made on her showing that Sniper Wolf has been copying Azzyland for years now, which is, this all seems to be very legitimate. Their title be same exact way as Azzyland? I think you're completely overreacting. This is not that big of a deal. I think it's something that sh that show me a YouTuber with get mad about. What? Dude, okay, you are a <laughs> nice bait. Or has just taken the same exact picture that Azzyland has used in her thumbnail. But it also included some weird things, like potentially her Toronto accent and the exact dress. Lyrix, he, was, he really isn't breaking that story. I think as he mentioned in an interview with him before, and a lot of people have known about it, it isn't an accusation kind of scenario here. I don't know, is that, I don't know if that's true at all. Is this not the first display of like a, a, a big, in a big setting, Nerd City breaking the news that Sniper Wolf has physically assaulted someone? 
I feel like this is like literally the main pull of this story. This is why a whole bunch of people like Drama Alert were reporting on this for the first time is because this hasn't been a big thing before. Maybe hinted at it, but this very much seems like the first time this has been brought up, right? Um, Azuland reveals how Sniper Wolf allegedly assaulted her at an event. Yeah, like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, $2. Um, Leah asked kids to twerk, but he brings this up. We heard about it like a half a year ago. Oh, am I just completely off base here? No, we've known that she assaulted people before. People or Azuland? Hmm? Ban, thank you for the two. Who else is getting oiled up right now? Why did I read that, like, genuinely? <laughs> Included some weird things, like potentially her Toronto accent. More like highlighting a story everyone knew, everyone high up knew about. Yeah, but Nerd City has said in this own video, yeah, that's, that's fine, but Nerd City has said in this own video that no one made a video about it and no one talked about it publicly because they were too scared of it. And that's why Nerd City is explaining why this video is imp as important as it is because he's finally the one breaking the story in a sense. I, I, isn't that the whole point of this? I thought like that's like exactly what he explained, right? And the exact dress that she wore for a house tour. Why would she rip this off? Why would she steal this this thing? It's a house tour or the red dress. Who cares? What are the chances though? Honestly, it seems so intentional. She seems like she's gaslighting her audience into hating Azuland. Bro, what? They have the same mirror? They both did a house tour in the same outfit? This looks like the same exact dress, dude. Narcissist no, copy. Blatant copy. I <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he keeps referencing this guy. As wearing the same clothes that, that you might wear. Copying your work. Copying your ideas. She literally copied the house tour as he did and even wore the same outfit during the house tour and even pointed out the same things. And Nerd spoke about it on TBH podcast. Okay, you know, okay. E even if this is already was a story um, beforehand, I feel like it's really getting blown up and highlighted now. But regardless, even taking it as if this has been blown up before um, and people have been known about this, like <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that this is a, like a pretty absurd way to go about explaining this situation and going about telling this story. You know, you're taking severely clipped out of context clips of Sniper Wolf raging at a video game, responding in like a goofy, quirky way in some of her Q and A's years ago, and you're taking it as a display of a like genuine admission of her being a violent person. Like that's absurd. In a house tour that as he did when i say same things that's weird the point. things that you wouldn't normally point out in a house tour like this really weird example where as land is talking about plants in her home basically saying that you know she doesn't really take care of them they end up being killed and dying but then sniper wolf goes on to say that they're luscious well taken care of plants of more plants that i'm killing a luscious well taken care of plant and try to make it better almost like out of spite it's the entitled person doesn't just feel special <laughs> they have to be more special than you before they really knew each other, they both cosplayed as Dude. Diva from Overwatch. And you can see Azilan got tagged in a post saying that, oh, Snipe Wolf did the same cosplay and she's very complimentary and nice. And Snipe Wolf being, you know, the piece of shit w she Cabos. is, starts comparing herself and going in on Azilan's appearance. If w I take those personality cool. traits and put them into me, I can become a better person, which would make me a better version of them. Because I Who is this? Take those Mental healness? Personality traits. And is this just a random YouTuber? Dude, is that, the we, a is that the black we wired soul? <laughs> okay, what's this guy's name? Mental Healness? Did this guy just look up random narcissistic videos on fucking YouTube? <laughs> what is going on, beautiful people? Today, what is going on? we're talking about do narcissists have a one that got away? True. Dude, it's Lee Hammock, and I'm a self aware narcissist. I'm clinically diagnosed. <laughs> Dude, this is just absurd. It's just a, come on, man. You cannot tell me this video isn't hilarious. This presentation is hilarious. And put them into me, I can become a better person, which would make me a better version of them because I'm different from them. That's just how Jamal my mind works. Jamal, don't wake it's up, It's just Connor. very strange. She like, stole her accent and shit, too, know, the way she talks. To Toronto, Fucking talking, weirdo. Yeah. True weirdo shit. Sniper Wolf Wait, why even is stole? Wait, using Sam Hyde? <laughs> That is a All bizarre right. crossover. Nazi alert? Uh, yeah, good one. <laughs> the way as he speaks. It's weird, dude. Mm, it's getting a little weird in there. It's getting a little strange. It's so weird. Very odd indeed. Which is strange and, you know, well, who cares? Sniper Wolf does. That whole narrative of Azuland copying Sniper Wolf stems from Sniper Wolf herself. This whole time, Sniper Wolf has been running a nonstop smear Yeah, so this basically just like uh, summarizing his last video. Campaign against Azuland, confoundingly, trying to convince fans 
that Azzy has been stealing from her. Much larger creator doing something extremely wrong and then claim that she's not copying and also that the inverse is happening. This is pretty much a synopsis of everything new that's come out. Sniper Wolf thinks Azzy copies her. Azzy thinks Sniper Wolf copies her. And Nerd City We could 1.5 this. Uh, Sniper Wolf copies Azzy. We'll Until it get back, it's, to, it's pretty gets back to the story. Uh, and it actually doesn't really matter because it's not their photos and it's not really their video content anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter, Jack. In fact, it does matter. It's just the worst kind of like egg sucking parasitic thief. Sniper Wolf has quite literally stolen every aspect of her career. I have not been this mad about someone in so long. And I'm so happy Nerd City put out this huge thing. He came out of retirement for this shit. I look, I look really pissed. <laughs> Imagine having someone like Sniper Wolf okay, dude, you, we get the points. coming at you every okay, chance dude. you get, sending her fans after you, imitating your voice, copying your thumbnails, copying your videos. How crazy that is. And Sniper Wolf is acting like the one who's being copied. It's driving me crazy. Hearing Azzy tell her side of the story for the first time left a lot of people wondering, like, why would anyone copy the content and clothes and speech pattern from someone who they don't even like. And Plagiarism and hypocrisy have never been uncommon on YouTube. However, the skinwalking jumped out as a bit strange. And you might even say it was a bit spooky. You've gotta be kidding. A few people in the comments were not surprised. They mentioned that all of those behaviors are characteristics of NPD. Uh, especially how I talk is very often based on what Here we go. Dude. Dude. Not Look only do we behave. cite other YouTubers who are doctors and self-diagnosed, well, self-clinically diagnosed um, narcissists, but we're also citing the comment section. Textbook narcissist shit. She is a textbook narcissist. Sniper Wolf is a textbook narcissist. Textbook narcissist. Classic narcissistic tendencies. Sniper Wolf is basically the Trump of YouTube. Dude. We're citing T nils two three. I got four. my fucking I got my popcorn here ready for this shit. This is gonna be fucking great. <laughs> a few people Dude, not a lot of people are talking about this too. Like how absurd this uh video is. This was six days ago and I haven't seen many people going over. I don't know if Chud Logic covered this, but um if he does, I, I should send it over to him to see if he can cover it, because this is video is hilarious. People in the comments were not surprised. They mentioned that all of those behaviors are characteristics of NPD. Uh, especially how I talk is very often based off of other people. Everything that I Nameless do narcissist. I act, is through this purpose of making people impressed with me, making people think I'm cool, making people admire me and stuff like that. So a lot of us take in the identity of the people that we admire or or envious of or jealous of. Hold your horses on that one. You're telling me that the world's most self-obsessed people would actually be obsessed with somebody else. Oh, sure. Well, that explains it. Okay, moving on. No, obviously, some of that doesn't sound right. Let's bring it back to the Greek roots. Narcissus in mythology. <laughs> Dude. Right. Okay. <laughs> Dude, we're going. History lesson, guys. Come on, get out your fucking pen and paper. We're going way back, 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 back. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Got your pen and paper. Doesn't Take sound notes. right. Listen Let's up. bring it back to the Greek roots. Narcissus Greek roots. in mythology. This is where the name come from. Narcissus, narcissistic. This is the god who fell in love with his own reflection. He wasn't staring into the neighbor's living room and falling in love with him. The dis <laughs> Spoiler alert, Nerd City, all YouTubers are narcissists. <laughs> Order is named after the god of vanity, not the god of unoriginality. It's like when Rapunzel went to the city and then she saw that painting of the princess and she was like, oh, that's me! No, it's a narcissistic disorder, honey. So, what the hell are they talking about, chat? And why did nerd press like and tell um, them they were right? Narcs always tell on themselves... Look, the etymology of the word narcissism has nothing to do with narcotics agents or snitching. Let's take a closer look at NPD and then we'll circle back and remind nerd that he's a moron and he shouldn't be telling anybody that they're right. He doesn't know. I don't know, I've been checking out my hair and the reflection in the pond. We see a grandiose sense of self-importance. We see someone who has a lot of fantasies about wealth and power. They believe they are special. Who is or this guy? What the fuck is this setup? Unique. They require excessive in the clouds. from others. We see a sense of entitlement, in the eclipse. a tendency to exploit other people interpersonally, a lack of empathy. We see an envy. <laughs> this is literally, I mean, dude, okay. So, uh, this is literally a uh, Keemstar content cop. This is literally this unironically, dude. Once told me give, me that give me the fucking, where's, where's sociopath? This is absurd. Socio. Let's see. 
The other is also run by the same complete sociopath. So what you have is this conflict of ideas where he's trying really hard to not give his opinion on the Drama Alert channel, however, he can't fucking help it. This is the problem with fake pranks on it? YouTube. I gotta say this. Wow. It wouldn't surprise me if Keemstar thought him and I were friends. You know, just because I follow him back on Twitter. Right, here, we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Network because I'm with that certain network and they're influenced by that. So I need to make sure that network. You know, five key traits the most okay. minutes of ad revenue. That didn't that, that's its serious. only purpose. <laughs> How to spot a serial killer. Criminologists reveal five key traits the most notorious murderers have in common. Power junkie. I got a fucking files on top of files to swing boxes. back at. A manipulator. The only time some big YouTuber wants to come on Drama Alert is to clear their name because they're in the right. An egotistical bragger. Drama Alert is a dope ass show. I make dope, dope ass, ass videos. Because my show is dope. dope. Retweet if you, you love, love that, that shit. shit. A superficial- <laughs> Just retarded. But this is literally, this Nerd City video, man. This is literally what's going on unironically. For other people and a this, this section, this chapter is called Narcissistic Personality Disorder Diagnostic Criteria. And we got Todd Grande to explain it to us. Narcissistic Personality Disorder, grandiose sense of self-importance, Fantasies of power, wealth, success, special or unique, need for excessive ad admiration, sense of entitlement, exploiting others in a person, lack of empathy, and for- <laughs> Dude, tell me this isn't a complete joke. Belief that other people envy this is them. This absurd. And we also I don't see think Todd arrogance. Glonde Leah would has agree been able with to... you that his video is a complete joke. You know, I will. I'll fucking, you know, I want to see his degrees, okay, Todd? To get away with doing whatever she feels like. Leah appears to have grandiosity, arrogance. Oh, wait, it's literally one of these retards. I've never been more vindicated. This guy's like a body analysis guy, like doctor. He literally okay. made a video on Sniper Wolf, like diagnosing her. It seems like she has. Wait, we got to pull this guy up. Dr. Grande. Sniper Wolf. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why does it matter if she's a narcissist or not? Why not just criticize her traits without needing to label her as a mental illness? Dude, because he's like so spurgy and autistic. He, like that's what he needs to do. And he needs to hone in the moral weight of bringing in a mental disorder. So it makes people go like feel spooky about it. It's like, oh, narcissism. Damn, this must be a really big deal. It's literally all it is. It's taking the moral weight of uh, a narcissist and using it to apply to her um, for oh, a better this critique. Dr. Grande. Today's question. What is this video? Reaction video creator frightens loquacious critic? Elias Shellish case analysis? <laughs> Docs is her name? <laughs> Wait. Aaliyah? Is that her name? What is this? Oh, this is Dr. Grande. So this is one of these guys where he like, like analyzes people and self diagnoses. Dude. And a sense of entitlement. Just a reminder I'm not diagnosing anybody in this video. <laughs> Um, does he reach the diagnostic criteria to call him autistic? Yes. And We're doing my, entitlement. I'm, new video coming soon. Reminder, I'm not the autism of Nerd City. Diagnosing anybody. Autism explained. Buddy in this video. <laughs> I'll, I'll get Bo Blacks on for a specific cameo. You know, let us know the ropes. Smaggle too, you know. They, they can explain to us in detail. You, you okay with that, man? Uh, yeah, but I have to explain the history of autism to make it, you know, succinct. Yeah, you can tell your own personal experiences of autism, too. How it's uh, deeply affected your life, your livelihood. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I think we just witnessed how it has ex ex affected your life. Okay. And a sense of entitlement. I'm eating popcorn. Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing Bitch. anybody in this video. <laughs> Now seems like a good time to explain the way that I'm using clips in this video. You can tell- Okay, here we go. Here we go. Finally, he explains these ridiculous clips and clip chimps of, uh- Wait, wait, how many minutes are you again? 16 minutes. He finally explains why he's doing this. So maybe, dude, maybe there's some deep philosophical reasoning that he has, going back to the Greek goddesses. You know, maybe he's got some deep philosophical reasoning. Oh, but I, like I got a good faith time in Nerd City. to explain the way that I'm using clips in this video. You can tell by the title of the video usually whether it's referring to Sniper Wolf directly or not. Well, with the exception of only that clip, 
all of the mental health videos are not referring to Sniper Wolf. And it is important to say that because there are relevant ethical constraints against speculating about public figures when it comes to licensed psychologists and psychiatrists, which is something I'm going to talk to Psych IRL about a little bit later in this video. Wait, there's ethical constraints on why you shouldn't speculate on someone else's mental health, and not speculate on someone else's diagnosis. But he's, has he not just spent the last 17 minutes doing that exact thing? Playing clips from other doctors after playing clips of Sniper Wolf apparently mimicking that behavior that's narcissistic? Is that not, what was the point of putting them then? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, what? and psychiatrists, which is something I'm going to talk to Psych IRL about a little bit later in this video. Wait. Against speculating about... No way he just said that. All Hold of on. the mental health videos are not referring to Sniper Wolf. And it is important to say that because there are relevant ethical constraints against speculating about public figures when it comes to licensed psychologists and psychiatrists, which is something I'm going to talk to Psych IRL about a little bit later in this video. As this video goes on, you're going to see that there are a number of different ways that people look at narcissism. And there definitely isn't a consensus amongst experts, not on how to describe it, whether you even should diagnose it or what it even is. A narcissist is not what you think. Is not a person who thinks so highly. <laughs> Dude, this guy just like start taking some college course on narcissism and mental health. And this really struck a chord with him. This reminds me of my first psychology class in high school. Holy shit. Dude, I just went home and was like, you know, brother, when you beat me up, you're displaying acts of narcissism and fucking homosexuality like this is are you kidding me is this really what this video is gonna be holy shit holy shit man this is not what you think is not a person who thinks so highly of themselves they can be chameleons or shapeshifters it's like shapeshifting you know in science why play the sniper wolf clips if it's unrelated i guess he's gonna have a chat with some doctor on the ethics of speculating about mental health to try to defend himself and try to defend him speculating. But I don't understand the relevance of that statement saying that there is genuine concerns and critiques of speculating on public figures' mental health when he's just done the whole entire thing for this uh, video so far. So I guess he's going to defend himself in this section on why it actually is ethical. He's going to be defending, he's going to be arguing with a doctor. <laughs> Dude, we're in for a trip. Fiction movies. As it tends to be with abstract concepts, and especially in an ever-evolving field like psychology, there are going to be different opinions that some people might find more or less true in their experience, and that can be contradicted or confirmed by further scientific research and literature. Pathological narcissism is often spoken about these days as one of three sets of personality traits referred to as the dark triad. <laughs> See the overall Dude, the fucking dark triad. This guy, man. Holy shit. Aiden Toon, Zeke for the two. I seen some fan art in Twitter DMs. Thank you. Please remind me at the end of the show and I'll go over it. But, uh, holy Wait, who's, who said that? What, what's the donut's name? Aiden Toons. Aiden Toons. Aiden Trunes. Right. Okay. <laughs> no, dude. The dark triad, though. Holy shit, man. Clap in the little Venn diagram. That's messy. And when the goal is to effectively treat a patient, messy is bad. What I loved about this research is that the one pillar that is universal in all narcissism is entitlement. Where narcissism, Machiavellianism, or the willingness to exploit others, psychopathy and sadism all come together. At the moment, as strange as this sounds, psychologists feel like evil personality types have not been properly studied. Pathological narcissism is different than narcissistic personality disorder. And on top of that, complicating it further, narcissism is yet another concept being pulled into spaghetti by the dual black holes of category versus continuum debates. We have to view- Dude, is this cringe? Is this cringe literally going to be him debate pedophiling his way to try to manipulate the definition of narcissism into applying it to Sniper Wolf? Because he so desperately wants to get an own on Sniper Wolf? Is this literally what this video is going to be? Is him arguing with doctors, arguing with the current literature of the mental health DSM-5, just so we can use it as a point to try to diagnose Sniper Wolf for his YouTube Exposed video? 
two. Oh, this is literally insane. What is with this guy? I've never seen it this bad with Nerd City. You know, there's been points where I've disagreed with this guy like pretty heavily on some of the stuff he's covered in the past. But this is the worst shit I've ever seen. This is such a meme. View also narcissism on a spectrum, Mel. Meaning that any behavior could be expressing something within a range of healthy to harmful amounts of narcissistic thinking. It's not an either or. It's not that you're narcissistic or you're not. But when it comes to narcissistic personality disorder, a person either fits the diagnostic criteria or they don't. And it can be diagnosed <laughs> as a comorbidity of other mental disorders. In other yeah, words, you can be top. diagnosed as a narcissist and as a psychopath. But some believe that when NPD appears in tandem with ASPD, they'll combine like Goku and Vegeta in a fusion move to become a brand new syndrome called malignant narcissism this is my favorite <laughs> i just there's so much cringe alternatively some prefer to view narcissism as We're one of four mental subtypes health. of psychopathy and would just delete Lesson. mpd completely this is from someone not died with you know, no criteria at all no degree just fucking nerd city a yeah, youtube like drama youtuber He's explaining to us narcissism and psych, a psycho, psych, uh, um, what the criteria is to be diagnosed as a psychopath. Holy shit, man. This is rough. What's up? You know what you should do? Every time he makes a fucking cringe point. What should I do? Should, should I say it's cringe? No, you should pull up the Family Guy clip of, uh, of Peter Griffin telling the fat goth teens to kill themselves. <laughs> okay, Dude, that's inciting violence. You dude, he'll he'll start taking clips from my streams, start making this <laughs> this narrative that I'm this not mama mad. Be fine. I don't know, man. He's he'll make this deep rooted. I I know he had a past drama with Boblax. He'll construct he'll construct this diagnosis of me that I'm actually a fucking well, you psychopathic haven't gone murderer. Caving, have you now? I'm have you what? gone caving? Have you gone caving? <laughs> no, not yet. Dude, we gotta get Boblax in to explain that. It's. <laughs> been a big debate. Some experts think that diagnosing NPD on its own is a waste of time, and that more research on it is a waste of resources. In fact, NPD was almost deleted from the DSM in the last update. Nar what a waste of production value, too, because this guy is clearly talented, you know, he's great at making videos. What a waste. Narcissists didn't take that news very well. After all, they have the most special brains. I won't be ignored, DSM-5. In the end, NPD survived this attempt and it popped from the DSM- He just needs someone to write his scripts for him and, and ideas. He just needs to be the editor and like a film aesthetic director guy. For the DSM-5 like nothing happened. Now DSM-5, DSM-4, what are these? Is this some kind of Spanish sports channel that you flip past? No. DSM-5 is the holy book for the priesthood of psychology. Not really though. DSM is not the be-all end-all of psychology, although it is relied upon by doctors and insurance companies and psychologists to code a diagnosis and to determine whether or not care is covered by a customer's policy or not. According to many experts, NPD on its own shouldn't command so much attention and it doesn't need to be a thing. Wait, I hope this becomes a series for Nerd City. Next coming right up, diagnosing... Diagnosing people of being trans or not. Is this person and, and judging the legitimacy of whether or not someone's a real transgender person? You know, I don't know. You know, if you still have a beard, are you, should you really be allowed in the women's bathroom? I don't know, man. Let, let's see the criteria of what it means to be a transgender woman. I hope, that, I hope this becomes the new arc of Nerd City. Which is weird. <laughs> yeah. Because culturally, NPD is so hot right now. Social media has been surfacing and rewarding narcissistic behavior. Social media has brought the conceit and the vanity up to a level that's unparalleled in here. Dude, no, someone needs to diagnose Nerd City. Dude, I'm gonna create, if, if it's not me, I'm gonna create my own meme version of this where I do autism, the criteria. Dude, if I was doing an exposed video on Nerd City, this would be the funniest bit. Someone's gotta do this, where you put up a whole bunch of criteria of autism. And just play a whole bunch of out of context clip chimped uh, things of him, <laughs> and then cut to Doctor saying autistic people tend to be retarded, <laughs> and just like play some, play some clip of him. T tend to hyper analyze things and get fixated on specific ideas. <laughs> Anthony, thank you for the five. Yolo Rex, wait till you find out there's gonna be the, there's uh, gonna be another nerd rage video on psychopaths. You talk about it t uh, today on to be honest today. Interesting. Dude, I hope, dude, I hope he, I hope he continues this. I'm, I'm liking the content. 
in history. And currently it says a lot about our society. Whee! Search for a few trendy terms like narcissistic supply the and next you will is find Fousey. a whole cottage industry has arisen of people who do nothing but explain <laughs> the, the mind of a narcissist. Some of them I like. Many of them have good videos. Many of these channels are not run by licensed mental health professionals. In fact, they're made by diagnosed narcissists who are more than happy to talk about themselves forever to anyone who will listen. So you think that narcissists like myself only look in the- Wait, how can you take these people as credible sources? How many people on TikTok, it literally was a trend for people on TikTok to fake having mental disorders, wasn't it? There's really a trend of that. How can you well, use mean, these people as genuine sources? I mean, this seems a little ridiculous. Who's more credible to talk about narcissism than a narcissist? Well, we don't know if they're actually a narcissist. It's become trendy to pretend that you have a mental illness so you could be part of the in-group. You know, if he's going to go the full mile, at least like schedule a sit down Zoom call or talk with a genuine professional. You know, if you're going to do this, if you're going to play this yeah. game. Um, because we are admiring ourselves, but this is not necessarily true. Usually it's because we're seeing flaws in ourselves that we have to rectify immediately. It's not so much that we think we look perfect, it's that we have to look perfect. Because if we don't look perfect, we look the worst and we feel like everyone's going to judge us and hate us. Other channels are run by admittedly banged up people who also aren't licensed therapists either, but can speak from experience. Today's topic is one that I know so many of us have had to deal with and uh, come to terms with the damage that it has caused to our lives. Just I random YouTubers with no, <laughs> no qualifications, no proof of anything. And how to negotiate with narcissists. There seems to be a large number of Dude. experts. A lot of these content creators believe that they're experts again in narcissism. Because everybody's saying we're in a, a pandemic of narcissism. You can tell from the numbers they get and the replies that many people find this supportive and educational and helpful, like life-saving even. It's about support. Individuals who've been abused by someone who is or is not a narcissist sometimes go to these channels and what they see on the channels, what they see in the videos, it resonates with them. And that's powerful. They are onto something here. The underground of pop psychology discussing narcissism is in the middle of a renaissance on YouTube and Reddit and Quora and self-publishing platforms everywhere. It's kind of formed into... Wait, is Nerd City critiquing pop psychology when this video so far has been taking clip chimped out of context clips of Sniper Wolf to try to prove a point that she's a narcissist? And he's trying to critique other people for pop psychology? <laughs> Come on. It's own little industry. The online space of narcissism is just booming. Some of these channels that are run by the more motivational type figures use this informal expertise they have on the subject in a way that no mental health professional would ever do. Write down on loose leaf paper, I'm a hoe, and stick that. Maybe not entirely for self-defense, but for going <laughs> on offense. I'm just showing you how- Wait, did I miss that? What was that? Sorry, I was looking at- <laughs> Yeah, go back to that. By dude. the more motivational type figures use this informal expertise they have on the subject in a way that no mental health professional would ever do. Write down on loose leaf paper, I'm a hoe, and stick that. Maybe not entirely for <laughs> self-defense, but for- Wait, why are you, Nerd City, the one who's like deeming what is a genuine source and what's not a genuine source with these YouTube videos? I mean, unless the people literally show their degree, um, then sure, like I'm with you, but I mean, are you going to show the way you go about finding genuine sources? Because so far you've just taken a whole bunch of people who claim that they're narcissists and tell their experiences without seeing any like diagnosis qualifications or anything to try to paint this narrative that Sniper Wolf is a narcissist. And then he can't even, he can't even claim that because he, early in the fucking video, he talked about allegations of assault. That he didn't prove that ever happened. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, didn't, he didn't show any proof that it actually happened. And is that the only... Past. And yeah, is this video like literally just a Trojan horse? Did we just get bait and switched completely into this narcissism, de like defi defining narcissism and trying to diagnose her? Like the abuse was 10 minutes, that, that story, if not less. Um, the, the physical assault, which... I cannot confirm in any way. I know I got Henry Resilient telling me that it did happen, but dude, I've seen nothing. I've literally not, I've seen no evidence, no screenshots of Azuland talking about it beforehand. Um, no, no names of the six apparent witnesses that want to stay anonymous. There's nothing. I, I, I just know absolutely nothing about this story where he's alleging a crime, not even alleging. He's saying that a crime did happen. Um, I don't know, man going on offense. I'm just showing you how to create mental anguish in somebody with narcissistic personality disorder. What you do with this information is on you. This is unlicensed street knowledge, my friends, served up fast and hot by TikToks and YouTube shorts. Some of the more extreme claims that I've seen would be that the knowledge of some of these content creators exceeds any PhD. So 
as somebody who has a PhD, I'm a little disappointed to hear that. And I spoke to a group of therapists uh, this Sunday, just gone, and I was what? like, you know, most of your clients are getting their information about narcissism from people on YouTube like me. They're not getting it from the published research. They're not getting it from peer. They're not getting it from the books. I use Skyler. Wait, is no way, no shot is Nerd City critiquing people from getting their research from social media. There's no way. But he's just personally deeming which social media people are trustworthy. Dude, how hard is it for this video that you've spent months on to just schedule a Zoom call with a professional? How hard is that? I mean, Mama Max was even willing to do that shit for his cult research. You're not even willing to go that extra mile? Dude. Like articles, as I mentioned, and some of these channels do too. I actually saw a number of videos where some of the same articles that I've used were used in the video. Unfortunately, most of the time, the sources aren't clear. It's personal experience. Sometimes the source is another narcissism channel. Dr. Todd Ground. He does get a professional on? Okay, gotcha, yeah. So, yeah, apparently they do talk about, so, the ethics of mental health. But, so, that even raises another question. Wait, so if you actually did get, so, he, he, gets, a mental, he gets a professional to talk about the ethics of this, why would you even have this portion of the video where you're citing Dr. Todd Grande? and his YouTube videos. Why not just actually like reach out to T Dr. Todd or talk about this with a genuine, like in a sit down conversation with a professional? What is the, I, I'm so confused. And they can come across what's, a little what's bit. What's the approach here? I don't know, grumpy. But he does operate a very good channel for comprehensive explanations of many different concepts in psychology, including narcissism. Although often focused on scientific accuracy, he does cover emerging topics and trends outside of the DSM, and offers his own personal opinions on things. Such as, he also doesn't think too highly of SS Sniperwolf. Content creators like Leah don't make oh, any Oh, now, okay, so finally, it all wraps around again. The reason why he's citing this guy, and the reason why he's promoting Dr. Todd Grande, and why he's a reliable source, is because... He doesn't like Sniper Wolf. Okay, now it all wraps around to making sense because he's diagnosing or assuming um, in his vague diagnosis because he's not legally allowed to do it online without meeting up with her. But in his vague diagnosis, he's making of uh, Leah over here that she's a narcissist or exudes that behavior. Watch time. You don't uh, watch time. You don't want to blow your load until that toward the end. Okay. Full contribution to society. She doesn't. But I mean, this seems this seems ridiculous. Like now, now it's all it's all come into flourishing or whatever to understand why he likes this guy. Appear to have any discernible traditional talent based. His is one of several well-informed channels that do feature licensed professionals, such as like you're telling me that the only you're telling me that the reason I saw someone say two things can um have, can be true at once. That's true, but you're telling me that. Nerd City, like if Dr. Todd Grande didn't make this video on Sniper Wolf, he would have never cited him and used him as an example. I, I don't think so. I, I don't know if I buy that. I don't know if I buy that. I think the only reason why he used Dr. Todd Grande is because he first saw the Sniper Wolf video, went to go check to see if he's a reliable source, and then thought, okay, good, I could use this guy. But I think it's only because he made the Sniper Wolf video. But, um, talent based. His is one of several well-informed channels that do feature licensed professionals, such as Surviving Narcissism with Dr. Les Carter and those featuring Dr. Ramani Devasala. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist. I'm a professor of psychology. You are the world's leading expert. You are now piloting all of this academic research around narcissism. What is narcissism? The word is thrown around all over the place. So narcissism is a personality style. I think it's actually really important for us to break out of this conversation of it as a disorder. Variable empathy, entitlement, grandiosity, arrogance, selfishness, the need for validation and admiration, um, a need for control, a motivation uh, by power, dominance, again, that need for control. They envy other people or they think- but Like above everything else, this is just so unnecessary for this video. This is so unnecessary. Other people envy them. They very much often live oh, in hold fantasy on. worlds. Lyrics. What's, Lyrics. Up? What's up? You're, you're, you're telling us, you're telling the YouTube chat What's unnecessary and what's necessary? Uh, how do, do how I have, can you do I have something to back that, that up? Dude, do I have a do I have a degree to back that up? Dude, you got a good yeah, point. Yeah, do you uh, do you have a college degree, dude? I don't know, man. 
thresholds. They cannot tolerate frustration or disappointment. And under those conditions, they often explode in these big rages. Dr. Romani is a face that you'll see all over public conversation around narcissism these days. Her personal view is that NPD is an underdiagnosed epidemic, and one that's having an impact on everybody who uses social media. Yeah, narcissism the criteria is a special of area of focus right on her work yeah, and her practice, and the subject of hundreds of videos she's uploaded that, to be clear, are not meant to refer to any person in particular. Thanos Devlin, thank you for the uh, 599. Nerd City is unbearable. Watch the first minute of the TBH podcast, two minute episode. His only brain function is determining narcissism. Wait, I'm so curious. I'm so curious. TBH podcast, two med. Wait, 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 wait. we got to see this. What's the two med episode? What did he say about two med? Is this it? Did I, did I rewatch this? Oh, wait, let's see. Tim and I have to link for the two. I actually have a college diploma in this stuff. Dude. Hello and welcome to another episode of To Be Honest, a show with a clown, a nerd, a duck. Wait, what does he say? And a degenerate. We actually did a little bit of prep work before this episode. We asked our patron, Discord, to give us some things to talk about, and they actually sent quite a few suggestions in. I mean, literally, the first one that I'm looking at here is just Too Mad Death episode. That's from someone called Draylon. He's asked us to talk about Too Mad. It's a way to put it. Just Too Mad Death episode. I think uh, Too Mad was a grandiose narcissist. He'd say things like, I'm the most. Oh no, this guy's so cringe. Dude, he took one college course. <laughs> Dude, he took a college course on narcissism and he can't shut the fuck up about it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Come on, dude. He couldn't wait 40 seconds. Not he couldn't even wait a minute in. He had to get that off his chest. Fuck, I didn't even want to go that hard in on Nerd City. Because, you know, I mean, he's a commentary guy. You know, he's talented. He knows what he's doing or whatever. Um, at least on the editing aesthetics front. But fuck, this guy just... Holy shit, there's a lot of laughs to have at him. Marie, thanks for the five. My therapist said ChatGPT. Uh, my therapist ChatGPT said you're right. I did. This is hilarious, though. Someone called Draylon. He's asked us to talk about Too Mad. Got a way to put it. Just Too Mad did episode. I think uh, Too Mad was a grandiose narcissist. He'd say things like, "I'm the most important person of my generation, so you guys need to come out and defend me because you guys are cowards." And oh my God, he's dumb. Holy shit, dude. He took. He unironically took fucking Too Mad saying that he's the most important person of the generation, like he's the Einstein person of the generation, as a genuine admission and a genuine, like, fucking symptom of narcissism. Holy. The most important person of my generation. So you guys need to come out and defend me because you guys are cowards and history is going to look back on you not defending the greatest YouTuber of your generation. Dude. That's a grandiose narcissist. On the other hand, like, how much... Would you say is that natural and how much was his brain affected by drugs? Because when I met him in Australia- What is Colossal thinking right now? I got more faith in Colossal that these- Dude, there's no way he's listening to Nerd City right now. He's being like, yeah, dude, I gotta agree. This is, seems absurd. One college course and he can't shut up about narcissism. Yeah, he was obviously still pretty like erratic and stuff. You know, obviously he had like ADHD and stuff, but yeah. I, I swear like drugs just completely- fried his brain there was definitely a degradation there. there was a degradation over time wait we gotta fuck it we gotta we got a transcript narcissism i dude i need to see i need to see this let's get the highlights of this narcissism right, let's see what only one no, let me do narcissist how do you spell narcissist all right here we go oh uh, what only two fuck dude dude that blew my load too early he doesn't say anything else Dude, if anyone has any timestamps of here, though, please send. Please send. Confidence? Do we get anything here? Are you seriously going to represent yourself, show up to court high? And then he was like, perfectly candidly, no joke. Yeah, I'm going to show up high and I'm still going to win. He had this total confidence, which, of course, was because of the narcotics. Yeah, just constantly on them. Like, I, still <laughs> I don't know, dude. If anyone has any timestamps, please send. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. All right, here we go. Hundreds of videos she's uploaded that, to be clear, are not meant to refer to any person in particular, including anyone mentioned in this video. She knows damn well so many people will find this content personally relatable. In fact, the more that you learn about the disorder, the more you'll probably think, like I did, well, this sounds like a difficult coworker of mine, or somebody I went to school with, or... 
Dude, are, are, I'm, I'm baited. I'm baited, right? I'm baited. A house cat I grew up with. <laughs> or every single politician. Oh my god. You're describing my dad. Yeah. You're just Wait, is he critiquing that? Because that's literally what he's doing. That's literally him. That's you, bro. That's you. This is like Katie critiquing people who put out false accusations because it's hurting real victims. That's you. Not, no, not a chance. Relatable. In fact, the more that you learn about the disorder, the more you'll probably think, like I did, well, this sounds like a difficult coworker of mine or somebody I went to school Narcissism with. Narcissism masterclass. A house cat I grew up with <laughs> or every single politician. Oh my God, you're describing my dad. Yeah. You're describing my, you're describing my son. You're describing the person I'm dating. Guys, I think there's a lot of people with this problem. How often are you going to encounter a narcissist? Probably a spitball number, 20%, one in five. That high? Enough narcissism to cause problems in relationships? Yeah. Do they have NPD? I have no idea. Generally, in the population at large, you're talking maybe 10 or 15% of the people are going to qualify as narcissists or narcissistic personality disorder. I also see that there's this tendency to kind of call everyone a narcissist. Somebody's boyfriend cheats on them. <laughs> Dude, no, no. Did he just use that clip? I also see that there's this tendency to kind of call everyone a narcissist. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you. You. It, the irony, I mean, am I just being hypercritical here? Am I fucking blowing my load too early? This seems absurd. Um. Somebody's boyfriend cheats on them. He's a narcissist. Load and it's, it, dude, and his reasoning, you know? His reasoning for calling Too Mad a narcissist is hilarious. Him saying he's the most important man of his generation. Like, dude, yeah, you really think that's, that's what he thinks about himself, man. Down, sister. Like, let's spend a little bit more time. I'm digging in. I'm trying to find the entitlement. This reckless use of the term makes it so that the term loses all value. This is everywhere. It's almost as if something seeped into the water supply. It's making everyone... <laughs> Wait, dude. So that the term loses all value. This loses all value that you use in it so much it loses value? This is everywhere. Whole, it's how is he gonna... How is he gonna worm himself out of this hole? This is something seeped into the water supply. It's making everyone sick. And many people say, I don't have someone like this in my life. Oh, yes, you do. This disorder is just, it's just too prevalent in society these days not to be educated. Understanding this personality style is critical. This is happening around you. And even if it's not targeting you directly, simply looking on a social media feed and having to see all this narcissistic people are more likely to get the romantic partners. This has to be a bait and switch. All the Dude, things that we think are be. success narcissistic people have. If I wrote a book on narcissism, it becomes a how-to guide for how to achieve in the new world order. And today she's here to talk about her brand new book. It's not easy to keep the Machiavellian, psychopathic, narcissistic sadists under control. What's the difference between someone who is narcissistic and someone who has a narcissistic personality disorder? Here's where it gets tricky. A lot of people with these patterns have no impairment. They're getting promotions. They're getting the girl or the guy. Everyone's thinking they're so cool. I want them at my party. They're often very okay, financially successful. Okay, we get the point, successful. dude. He's really beefing up so this as far fucking as they're video. Concerned, they're killing it. Why fix what ain't broke? They don't see a problem. They think they're special. They think they're unique. They're our CEOs. Yeah. They're our world leaders. Right. They are our celebrities. They are our athletes. They are our music stars. Now, the reason why it's important to understand how a narcissist navigates life. Yeah, it's absurd to diagnose someone uh, through just watching their content online. Yeah, dude is not to copy their behavior. Knowing how to contend with, deal taking, with- taking like picked examples from the personal life that you personally know about. The Gates life is not to copy their behavior. Knowing how to contend with, deal with, manage some of these difficult personalities has made a huge difference in, I think, where I've been successful and where I've had difficult times. Because it's not good for relationships. I have clients, for example, who have been in narcissistic marriages, relationships, 40, 45, 50 years. And they've said to me, Nothing like this was being said 20 years ago. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Dr. Downvote, how dare you? You ain't Dr. McGraw. Edutainment psychiatry with a non-consensual patient is against the rules, specifically the Goldwater Rule, which was a response from the APA to an article in Fact Magazine in 1964, where over a thousand psychiatrists expressed their belief that Barry Goldwater was a narcissist and psychopathic and not fit to be an American president. When somebody tells you he's for Barry Goldwater, you ask him which Barry Goldwater he's for. Is he for the one I'm who sorry, said, I zoned out for a, a second. What the fuck does this have to do with Sniper Wolf? Uh, I'm, dude, he's going. He's giving a whole overview of the narcissism history back to the Greek gods, dude. Dude, you don't understand. <laughs> I, 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 I genuinely think he's trying to manipulate and twist this narcissistic definition so he could just apply it to Sniper Wolf and 
trying to like go autistically analyze it. Or honestly, he probably just took a college course and he's now passionate about this specific topic. So now he's reciting everything he's learned from that college course. Right, so um, I actually have something. Um, what's up? I have to leave this guy guy's name anonymous because unlike the OX, I don't leak shit. <laughs> but uh, he says. Uh, I have to defend Dr. Grande here. He's not a body language analyst. He's a PhD certified psychologist who begins all his videos by saying, I'm not diagnosing anyone in this video. I'm only speculating on what could be happening in a situation like this. This nerd city dork is clipping Dr. Grande out of context, which is why he never interviewed him. He's never tried di... di diagnosing sniper wolf or anyone else he uses trending topics to educate people on the field of psychology huh interesting i think even the way that he this dr todd goes about it though like i i saw some of the clips sure they were out of context and that's that's absurd if that's genuinely the case um it seems like it but even i think there are some fair critiques also of todd to make because the whole making your content basis around speculating that someone has a mental disorder but you're not actually diagnosing them because that's harmful you're walking up to the, the to the door to doing it though that's basically the same thing i mean come on dude guys i'm not saying that keemstar is a psychopathic murderer but you know he does give off some of these traits but you know morally and ethically i just can't diagnose him here but he does have these traits he does have that trait you know you're walking up to the to the door of doing it but, um, I mean, that does show character about uh, Nerd City, if that's what he's doing in this video. That's interesting. Um, so, to a certain extent, yeah, I, I could uh, give Todd some charitability. But still, the way of doing that content kind of comes across as ridiculous to me. Um, lose on League for the Six. First time donating cheers. By the way, Lyrics looks like net spend. Thank you, man. Jess, thank you for the two. Gooning a little bit for you, brother. Good to see you back, Jess. Good to see you, man. And good to see you gooning. Yield atomic bomb on the Chinese supply lines in North Vietnam. Oh, dude, I thought that was fucking sirens behind me. That scared the fuck out of me. Who said I drop a low yield atomic bomb on the Chinese supply lines in North Vietnam? And since 1973, the APA has attempted to curtail its members from weighing in on public figures who they haven't personally examined. Hey, Donna, how's it going? It's a very, I, okay, this is kind of embarrassing, but I don't, do I call you nerd, yeah, nerd. Sit or like, you know? Nerd's fine. Before I would bring in your clip, I think it might even be smart for me to say like, Donna. Okay. This is me kind of being a dick, but dude, you scheduled a professional meeting with a doctor or a psychologist and they're like, you know, nerd's you fine. pull up, Before I you pull up to the zoom meeting with these retarded glasses and pink gay lighting. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> like, come on, man. With the nerd city in the background. I mean, that's just hilarious. I mean, of course, this isn't a huge critique, but this is just funny. <laughs> French is fine. Thank you for the two. I thought you said no goon zone, brother tipster. I would bring in your... Not a doctor? She's a YouTuber, too? Wait, what? No, at least she could be a YouTuber and a doctor at the same time, though. Does she have a PhD? I hope he goes over who this girl is. I don't think he said who this girl is yet. Um, who they haven't personally examined. Hey, Donna, how's it going? It's a very, I, okay, this is kind of embarrassing. Just $2. Ribbon three to me while I was goofing. But I don't, do I call you nerd? Yeah, nerd. Sit or like, you know? Nerd's fine. Before I would bring in. Donna IRL. Okay, let's check her out real quick. Donna IRL. 560K. Formerly known as Psych IRL. Um, theories are my own and sources are always down in the description. Um, so she's not citing herself as a doctor. First and foremost, is this person a doctor? Tyler Oliveira just accused the channel soft white underbelly of shady behavior. Support me here. Um, uh, main sources, dictionary, APA, daily mail. Um, I don't know. I don't, does anyone know? Is psych is, he's calling Donna IRL where it seems like she's just like a YouTuber at bare minimum who used to be called psych IRL who, um, covers some cases. Loser is Sigma male. So she just majored in it. She studied in college. Well, I took a couple of college courses on psychology and philosophy too. Does that make me Socrates? Don't really think so, but we'll see. 
in your clip, I think it might even be smart for me to say like, Donna hasn't seen this video. Donna isn't endorsing the content I'm making, but I just wanted to ask her about this gatekeeping of mental health. I see there being kind of a ethical trap where you're perfectly fine to use textbook terms from psychology. Wait, 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 what, is, what was that last bullet point? Okay, gotcha. Trap where you're perfectly fine to use textbook terms from psychology or therapy and throw them around sort of uh, cavalierly, sloppily. You can use them as an insult. You can call someone a psycho or a narcissist or something like that. And you're, you're using terms that are serious mental health conditions and have a definition. But then the second that you start to be accurate about it and you try to define like, okay, is that true? Is he really a psychopath? Is he really sociopathic? Is this really a narcissist? Then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you a licensed therapist? Because you can't diagnose. Even sometimes a therapist will say, well, you shouldn't say your husband has narcissistic personality disorder unless you've spoken to their therapist, which obviously they haven't. So the instinct to be responsible in that regard is to bring in someone who is a mental health professional, someone who is a licensed therapist. And then you've got the potential disaster, another trap, a therapist speculating about someone who isn't their patient. So that's a violation of the Goldwater rule, which is that right. ethical constraint from the APA. They still do it today. Like psychologists are constantly talking about whether Biden is mentally fit for office, whether Trump's a narcissist. So he's explaining it. He understand. It sounds like he understands the concerns. I wonder what his justification is going to be then. Says yeah. Whether Michael Jackson was whatever, you know, like people will go on the news and be like, I know I think I think this person has got that. Multiple US publications lining up to suggest he's suffering from something called narcissistic personality disorder. That's prohibited for psychiatrists and it's there's an overlap to psychology where it's at least frowned upon. So then you've passed the credential check of I am a licensed and educated person on this topic, but they're not my patient. So you, so you have to shut up ethically. And then if they are your patient, then you definitely can't talk about it. As therapists, we have a rule. And the only way that you could get around that is if it was like, you know, if they gave you permission or if it was a court ordered evaluation and it became part of the public record. So it protects their expertise and it protects the privacy of the patient. But everybody who's not in that equation is kind of left with less awareness of what these terms mean. Right. I mean, I do want to start off by saying, though, that like this is just my opinion. I am not the authority, nor am I a monolith that gets to decide what people can and can't discuss. With that said though, I do believe that there is a way that people have to talk about these topics. Dude, is there a reason why she's not stating her qualifications yet? Why, is this getting cut out? Like I'm listening to people in the chat say that she's not a professional and only has studied it in college, but she doesn't have a degree or anything. But can she, why did we not get qualifications here? That's pretty suspicious. Like not even just like a sidebar saying Donna IRL, like, you know, professional psychologist. Why, why are we not getting that? Like, to, and why is she not explaining her psychology? She has in her Insta, Insta majored in psychology? Let me see. She has a minor degree in psychology. <laughs> Fuck. I see it. Rape review. What is this? Um, storyteller for camera, psychology, and internet culture. Where did she say that? Huh? Wait, what are you? Are you guys just bullshitting? Where did she say that? Instagram bio. Yeah, this is her Instagram bio. Hold on. Huh? I'll check right now. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Any um, hot picks, dude? Let's check it out, man. Let's check out. <laughs> Retarded. Um, in a very responsible way, and I do feel like a lot of content on the internet and in media as a whole. Um, have crossed certain ethical lines. Mm -hmm. I would never discuss a specific mental disorder and even using a public, like even using a public figure as a launching point to um, discuss that uh, mental disorder. I don't know, just something about it feels uncomfortable. Um, at, Wait. That in, in media as a whole um, have crossed certain ethical lines. Mm -hmm. I would never discuss a specific mental disorder and even using a public, like even using a public figure as a launching point to um, discuss that uh, mental disorder. So she completely disagrees with Nerd City and how he's been going about this entire video so far. This is so interesting. Is this literally going to be a bait and switch? Where is this video going? Or is he going to debate this <laughs> this girl? I don't know. It's just something about it feels uncomfortable. Um, and I guess it is be maybe because the background of uh, the something about it feels uncomfortable. I mean, I'm sorry, but this sounds like the way I would talk about this topic, not an actual supposed professional or at least someone who has studied this um, extensively. Cold water rule. Um, 
And I guess it is be maybe because the background of uh, the Goldwater rule. Um, but yeah, I, and I know that's kind of what your, your video is. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's just something about it for me that feels uncomfortable. People think if you define the term and then you, and then you say, well, this person seems to have these signs, you have to, you have to make this genuflection where you go, no, I'm not diagnosing. I'm not a mental health professional, right? Even if you've never presented yourself in that way, you know, like there's some pressure to say that. Are you diagnosed? Well, of course. Yeah, you have to qualify the statement you're making or else you're, uh, that's the obvious assumption people are making. It, why is nerd acting as if that isn't a complete genuine critique to have that here? Like, yeah, dude, if, if you're saying that Sniper Wolf has narcissistic quality, um, A, B, C, D, and C, you're walking right up to the door. And if you don't make that qualification and, and say, I'm not diagnosing her, it, it, even, even that like small, as he says, genuflect, it doesn't really save you 100% in my book because it's pr still pretty disingenuous. It's like you're still walking up right to the door. Why are you doing it in the first place? You know, just stick to the actual critiques of them. Why do you have to diagnose someone or pretend to like use these and use these critiques of them to criticize them and to try to diagnose them or uh, allude to that? So why even go that path in the first place? But it, now he's saying even that disclaimer um, it is ridiculous in his eyes. It's so interesting. If you've never presented yourself in that way, you know, like there's some pressure to say that. What do you mean if you've never presented yourself in that way? If you're saying that someone has five criteria of narcissistic disorder, that's presenting yourself as alluding that they have narcissistic disorder. Are you diagnosing? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe I am. Maybe I am. Maybe that is the definition of diagnosing. The difference is my diagnosis doesn't come with the authority of the American Psychiatric Association. If I don't have that, then it's like, I'm free to diagnose someone. I diagnose people in conversation all the time. <laughs> right, right, right. What? What? Is this, wait, what is this justification? So... You're literally saying people shouldn't take me seriously when I call nar um, Sniper Wolf a narcissist and that somehow you feel like it covers your ass. That's absurd. That's like, what an absurd statement. I'm free to diagnose someone. I diagnose people in conversation all the time. <laughs> right, 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 right. If you can't afford to pay to have someone that you don't you think that's worth critiquing. Vent to about work. You're paying arm being an armchair psychologist. Hundred dollars an hour to be like, I've got this coworker who's stealing all my stuff and says that I'm nice, but they also hate me. And my therapist just flat out said, "Well, you know, they are on the narcissistic personality disorder spectrum." And I'm like, "What do you?" And he's talking? like blaming us. He's blaming the viewer if they take him seriously. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, I'm getting Mama Max flashbacks. It's your fault for taking this taking my video seriously, where I presented all of these things as genuine, real display of reality. Like that I genuinely did hack into this girl's YouTube account and she got raped. And it's your fault for taking that dumb shit seriously. Like what? Talking about. You don't have anyone to talk to about that. Then it's like the next best thing is that you listen to a similar story by a YouTuber who isn't saying they're a therapist, but who's explaining the useful concept. You can relate to it. You get support. You start to realize like, oh, okay. I don't, this is not my fault. I don't need to actually analyze their projection on me and then change that about myself they're actually nuts you know so i should just forget about it and uh do the best i can for myself like i i think that that's useful yeah yeah no for sure like we need a slow breakdown of what he just said listen to a similar story by a youtuber who isn't saying they're a therapist but who's explaining the useful concept you can relate to it you get support start to realize like oh okay i don't this is not my fault i don't need to actually analyze their projection on me and then change that about myself they're actually nuts you know i don't need to analyze their projection onto me they're actually nuts so i should just forget about it and uh do the best i can for myself so i should forget about it forget about the ethics of saying and speculating that someone as, is a narcissist like i i think that that's useful and you think that that's useful so he's unironically it's exactly what i thought he's debating this person on whether or not he's justified to diagnose sniper wolf as a narcissist Wait.
Well, you can't even say debate because she's agreeing with him. Well, so far, she just said, like, one yes. She's probably going to say, like, but. Because her first take was saying that she feels like it's uncomfortable. Mm. But this is so interesting. What? Good job repeating. Okay, fuck off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good bait. No, he's... You know, so I should just forget about it and uh, do the best I can for myself. Like, I, I think that that's useful. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Like, with that, though, like, I don't believe that talking about mental health issues in relation to public figures is completely off the table. I think it's completely ethical for one to talk about it if it hits, like, certain criteria. And again, this is totally my opinion. You can go on the Internet and you can find different influence. What? 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 Dude, what am I listening to right now? Dude, Henry, you were defending this video? Henry, if you're still in the chat, you gotta call in. What am I... This video is nuts. Hold on, wait a second. Wait, I gotta talk, wait, to, wait, I gotta wait, talk wait. to Chud or someone hold about on, this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up. So, I was looking through chat. Uh, not chat. I was looking through uh, Nerd City's video. And I scroll down to the newest, to the newest in the comments. And this this guy named Okami Chan nine seven seven two eleven minutes ago posted. I'm sorry, nerd, but what's with this weird obsession with narcissism? I mean, you literally diagnosed two matter being a narcissist with no proof nor official license to do so, and now you're doing that to Leah. And Wait, yeah, and he says, yeah. Like, let me read it out. Yeah, I was working on yeah. I was working on this video as we recorded that, so it was on my mind. <laughs> And I believe that's true about Tumad. Possibly among other conditions, I don't know. I don't know so much about. People speculate about schizophrenia. I don't know enough about that. He wasn't. He was narcissistic in my experience. Take that for what it is, and don't even dream about gatekeeping me, or I will order a drone strike. Well, I mean, that was a joke, but I know. mean, yeah, the last one was a joke and a little bit of over exaggeration. But the main point is that. Don't gatekeep me from speculating on other people's mental illness. <laughs> and I was literally right. I, um, yeah, the reason why I called Tumad a narcissist was because I was I, 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 I took a college course and this was on my mind. And I was talking about Sniper Wolf, so I, I just assumed so. This is literally saying that this is literally me in sophomore high, uh, year of high school having one lecture, having one class on psychology. And coming home and saying, Mom, I think you're being very narcissistic right now. You know, ordering me to do chores and to, like, clean up my room without even paying me allowance. Like, it's literally that. It's the sophomore in high school going home and diagnosing their whole family with a disorder. Because it's on your mind. It's, cur it's a current thing that you have on your brain. You just had a class about it. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Dude, I gotta talk to someone. Dude. When's Chud streaming next? This is crazy. I got to so, dude. I feel like I'm going crazy. This is in, this is insane. I gotta make a tweet about yeah, dude. I'm gonna after this stream. I'm I'm making a tweet about this or something. This is absurd. Holy shit, dude. I, I'm just kind of like taken aback. This nerd city guy really is. He's really dumb. So he's completely justifying um, speculating. And so it's not a bait and switch. That's his take. He's completely justifying speculating on people's mental health, mental illness, and diagnosing them in a sense in his own personal book. And it's your fault if you take his opinion as genuinely being serious because he doesn't have qualifications. So it's your fault, just like Mama Max. If you take anything that he said in his video as genuine, well, you're just the retard. This You're is literally the guy. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I just want to say this is unironically the have your cake and eat a tooth fallacy. Like <laughs> yeah, break out the fallacies on us, Maggle. Fucking let's go. Yo, yo, what's up? Yo, Bo Blacks, what's up, man? Yo, I was watching your stream. I haven't watched like much of this Nerd City video beyond what you just reacted to. Number one, Dawn, Donna IRL, Psych IRL. I've I followed her on YouTube for a couple years. No hate to her, but she's not a psychologist professional. I don't know why Nerd City brought her on to talk about this out of everyone. Just, I guess, a fellow 
fellow YouTuber, drama YouTuber, I guess. YouTuber. Yeah, she's just a drama YouTuber who specifically talks about like the psychology aspects of it because she studied a bit of psychology. Um, <laughs> Took a couple but... college courses, literally. Dude, yeah, this is I absurd. Have, I don't have an issue with her, though. Like, it's not her fault that Nerd City invited her on, you know? But, dude, the one sit-down, I assume, yeah, this is the one sit-down he has with a professional, <laughs> spoken very lightly. Uh, actually, actually, no, not a professional. The one sit-down he has is with, with someone who took a couple college courses on psychology. But he couldn't have get, gotten any real professionals for this video? Oh no, the professionals would probably disagree with him. That's why. I know, right? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Like, I'm not dude, a the, professional uh, either. Dude, but... have you even seen th this? is blowing my mind right now. Did you see the, the thing with uh, him defending Too Mad right now? Him literally saying, uh, yeah, yeah that's it was why on I my wanted mind. to call in specifically the, that's the Too crazy. Mad thing. Number one, Too Mad was under heavy use of drugs for the last couple of years of his life. Um, from what I've heard from people, like, you know, I know people who knew Too Mad. I mean, he was narcissistic in the same way every YouTuber's narcissistic. Yeah, but here's, I would not, he, he, yeah, here's, I would the, not call him, like, I would not diagnose him with narcissism. Yeah, here's the main thing. It, my biggest problem is that his justification for calling Too Mad was an, a narcissist is taking a clip chimped out of context quote from too mad saying why aren't, why isn't everyone defending me right now i'm the most important person in this generation he unironically took that and used that as an example to show that too mad like that's a genuine admission of too mad being a narcissist isn't that a recent clip though too um yeah that's from the tbh podcast um two episodes ago yeah like too mad you can't <clears throat> accurately uh diagnose the mental state or how too mad is in general as a person when he's under that many drugs. Yeah, dude, and it, and it's that's just like, that's like you getting drunk as fuck, and then I like diagnose you <laughs> yeah. as a retard because I'm like, oh, this is more, like obviously too mad wasn't sober. Yeah, and it's so just and his dude, and his justification. He's literally justifying being able to speculate on a whole bunch of public figures' mental health, and it's your fault if you take him uh, take his diagnosis speculation seriously. He's literally that's oh, literally his you, reason. But, but it, but if you question it on Twitter, they're go uh, you're wasting their time. <laughs> this is <laughs> if you the... remember that Discord. Uh, oh yeah, the like the did. yeah the he got the cave mad thing. at me for speculating on um the validity of his demonetized list video, wordless video. Oh yeah, back one of in the, the gay was restaurant or something. Yeah. yeah. So it's like if people if people criticize you, then they're wasting their time, your time, and you get mad at them. And then if they take you seriously, then it's their fault. Like, I don't get it. Dude, somebody's got to um, press him on this. I mean, uh, this is this is an absurd video. No, any anyone who presses it, he never lets anyone get into the position to press him on anything. Really? Like, that's, that's why he didn't bring me into the call when I raised my hand in the Discord thing years ago. That's why, like, you know, Nerd City has had tons of controversial videos, but he never... Sometimes he has, like, ranty, like, Dark Viper uh, AU-esque twitter dms but beyond that like he never responds Doesn't really have, like conversations yeah Damn. yeah like there's a whole willie mac show kind of beef between him and willie and he didn't respond to any willie's points so interesting dan i was thinking for the 250 at this point it has to be a fetish thank you man thank you for all the donations really appreciate it all right let's keep going though let's uh let's see i think him it's debating with this person it's completely ethical <laughs> and ironic he's debating with uh someone who <laughs> Someone who doesn't isn't actually a professional. Just took a couple college courses. For one to talk about it, yeah. if it hits like certain criteria, and again, this is totally my opinion. You can go on the internet and you. Can oh yeah, and dude, and she, and even her, she's saying a ridiculous thing that if it hits a certain amount of criteria, then it is a justified diagnosis, even if you have no professional background in this. That's crazy to say. But man. okay, to give okay. her benefit of the doubt, though earlier. Nerd City was kind of explaining diagnoses as just like, you know, I diagnose people all the time when I talk with them. I speculate on them or whatever. So maybe she's talking about it in the in the sense that Nerd City was trying to describe. Yeah, yeah I guess I'm just like because like I, I think it's fine to like speculate on. I don't know. Like, is this guy really autistic? Like, he seems really like socially inept here. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't even, he, not. The hard part is that this doesn't really seem this. I think this pushes the past the bar of just being like, dude, is this guy autistic? 
you know, he's making a whole video playing clips from doctors oh, and, yeah. pl- and playing going yeah, back yeah, to yeah, back, yeah. playing clips of doctors, playing clips of Sniper Wolf and genuinely no. trying to make a case that she's yeah. a narcissist. I'm not de- I'm not defending Nerd City. I'm defending yeah. uh, Donna right here in this specific instance, because, again, also didn't Nerd City say at the beginning of the segment, Donna hasn't seen Nerd City's video. She's just kind of having a conversation and trying to answer the best she can on the fly with what nerds that he's saying so yeah, yeah. jesus fucking voice crack yeah. you can't uh, you can't diagnose someone from a list i don't know she could different. she could be retarded i don't know but yeah i mean i assume I, she's not for now yeah i just push back on the idea like you know you get a list of specific criteria and you read that on the dsm five yeah. dsm5 and you go home and say hey mom um have you seen the dsm5 i think you exhibit all of these traits of narcissism what what do you th- what do you think about that like that's ridiculous you know what i mean yeah um, yeah but it, yeah, to find different sure. influencers and personalities doing a full breakdown of a certain person. Um, but for me, in my opinion, what's ethical is if the public figure divulges actual personal mental health information to the public. I think that's free to talk about it because they themselves ha- are the ones that actually, you know, put that in public. Or there is a news story that exposes the public figure to doing, I don't know, X, Y, Z. Or if you want to talk about the mental health disorder. Or- you just described exactly what a psychologist does. What do you think a psychologist does? Yeah, dude, it's a, but they have the background in it. You, There's a lot of other context that goes past just reading a description of specific traits and criteria. That's the nuance in what makes a professional versus a layman who can just read any criteria from what a disorder is. You know, there's, there's a reason why there's professionals and there's just random people who can look up the definition and criteria of narcissism. Yeah. Like, come on. And I don't think it's like... If you're making it clear that you're, like, not a professional and you're not diagnosing someone... In some cases, it's weird, but in other cases, like she said, where they already divulge certain information or something gets exposed, I think it's fine to have, like, a casual discussion being like, is this person maybe a psychopath or something? Dude, that's the most interesting part, though, is that Nerd City is pushing back on even making that disclaimer, as, like, we are seeing earlier. (laughs) He he feels like that disclaimer is ridiculous to even make. Um, Or mental health issue in general. I'm following the story into the mental health issue. I'm seeing a behavior that doesn't make sense to people, didn't make sense to me. I hadn't seen a whole lot of examples of anybody acting like this. I was left sort of scrambling for a mental model to understand why someone would be doing I also have never this. met anyone who gets mad at someone going spelunking and then tries to... <laughs> Dude, yeah, that's so what, like, yeah, this is what I was going to do earlier. Like, Dude, the funniest so edit many... in the world would be like the autism diagnosis. This is the criteria. And just back-to-back playing cl- out-of-context clips of Nerd City and back to, uh, and playing a clip of a doctor saying, and no one else hyper fixates on something other than an autistic person. Because that's what he's doing to Sniper Wolf. You know, it's absurd what he's doing. <laughs> Someone could do the exact same thing to him. Dude, could you imagine Nerd City making, like, a diagnosis video on me with what he thinks <laughs> I'm like? It would be so schizo. <laughs> dude, it goes He'd past like, just the it, surface it, of it, autism. Yeah. It's fucking malignant autism. <laughs> like, okay, dude. Because he looks at all, the, like, the littlest shit, like me going spelunking for, like, a YouTube skit. Yeah. And, and then, like, fills in the gaps, like, I was there alone, I was doing unsafe, et cetera, et cetera, all these, like, made-up shit. So, like, I would love to have a schizo video uh, made about me on Nerd City, but unfortunately, only um, Lele Pons and Sniper Wolf have this that. This is the big shots. This is the big shots. In the comments yeah. underneath yeah, the video, a number of people called it out. They spotted the copycat thing is NP. Whoa, 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 wait, what? In the comments underneath the video, a number of people called it out. They spotted the copycat thing is NPD, the projection is NPD. I had to look into that because I had never associated that with narcissism. I think it is fair because she has said, I lack empathy, almost speculated on her having Oh, you're listening to YouTube comments. You know who else has no empathy? Psychopaths. I'm narcissistic and self-absorbed. So if you approach it that way, and- <laughs> Dude, this is what I mean. This is absurd. Taking these clip chimps investigate do to these make a case. Have validity. Does what she's saying have validity as well? When I searched for <laughs> do narcissists copy. It's like people. a shit post, but unironically trying to make a case that someone's like trying to diagnose someone. This gigantic, it was like knocking the wall down and finding this entire world of content based around narcissists. This channel is devoted to narcissistic abuse awareness and recovery. People who are 
telling personal anecdotes about, you know. And dude, also, Did wait. he, like, just figure out what a narcissist is? Yes, yes. He literally like, took a class. He, I, 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 I will, dude, gun to my head. Not gun to my head, but I would be willing to bet, uh, like, a hundred fucking dollars. This guy just took a dude, class lately. He saw a brilliant a sponsor or, like, a Skillshare sponsor, and he's like, I'm going to learn yeah. what a narcissist is. Or even worse, just watch, like, a video essay of some, like, random guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, dude, also, taking, like, a back step from all of this, Let's say the sniper wolf is a narcissist. Who the fuck yeah. cares? Like, who cares, man? Yeah, I mean, she still does what she does. We all know. Like, like what is the point like, in labels? Let's just get to what the matter of what she's doing. What are the actions that she's doing? Critique the actions, not just focusing on these hyper, like, ridiculous labels. What, what mean, do the labels clear, do for you? It, I feel like he thought of the title and video concept first, and then made ideas to fit that rather than having an idea and then like making the title and thumbnail afterwards like i feel like he just wanted to make a video that's an hour yeah. long on sniper wolf to call her an narcissist yeah reviews. dude he wanted like, to beef up the video he spent 10 minutes going over an alleged fucking like physical and the video's assault just over an hour long too he's yeah. There's this weird prestige YouTubers have where it's like, if it's over an hour and it has a fancy thumbnail, it's yeah, dude, he's got the stamp of deal. approval. Like, exactly, oh, dude. So wow. literally, like the fucking stamp of approval. If it's damn, just over an my hour, my last video was 57 minutes. I should have added like some fluff. Wow. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> like a teammate, a parent, yeah. a sibling, a best friend. If you've grown up in a narcissistic family or have been around some narcissistic. But yeah, he literally spent 10 minutes on the physical assault and didn't show any evidence or anything at all. So there's nothing to even take from. I mean, it's just unironically Nerd City saying for a fact, not even a legend, that Sniper Wolf physically assaulted Azuland with nothing else and then spending the remainder of the video going over an autistic analysis of narcissism and trying to diagnose her. This is This reminds ridiculous. me of uh, uh, Shane Dawson's video on Jake Paul. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. 100%. Yeah. That was the first thing I thought of. The second episode. And I watched that. It it was so bad. Yeah. I remember it in depth. But, yeah. People and, or friends, you'll often feel like nothing you say has value. Your life is not that interesting. You might feel like you don't have value. And I know because- I'm disappointed it wasn't 50 minutes of talking about a greasy hair. Yeah, and what's the relevance of that like in two, like two minute intro of Sniper Wolf just talking about her greasy hair? <laughs> like it literally, point, it goes from Sniper Wolf physically assaulted as Lane as a malignant narcissist. Greasy hair, back to she physically assaulted at the Fortnite event. <laughs> like, dude, what the I feel fuck like is this? Nerd City uploads so infrequently, and he feels this pressure of every video needs to be so big because he uploads like once a year. So this video originally probably should have been like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but he bumps it up to an hour to make it look more impressive for his viewers so he can be more lazy in between uploads. Yeah. And happened. just recently, yeah, definitely he just like read a book or something. He has this fascination with narcissism, and now he's calling everyone he can get his hands on yeah. narcissists. Who can I call a narcissist to like Literally. shove all this cool new narcissism Dude, info so into my video? True. Actually, oh, so Sniper Wolf. Uh, I can't do Keemstar. I work with him sometimes. <laughs> yeah, oh, getting, uh, Sniper Wolf. She, I, she's dude, bad. Actually, so yeah, literally, c completely. He got. You just wanted to flex and get, uh, release the knowledge that he's obtained from the recent course he's taken. <laughs> People who don't even pretend to be licensed therapists who are just telling stories. I, I need an excuse to do it. You know, happened. <laughs> And it's just funny. To me. They're still trying True. to figure out how this person he who, runs this shit like a uh, business. Trust... I mean, he makes NFTs and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, that never get followed up. He's, on. He, yeah, he's not okay, making to be this because he's the, you know. the the NFTs did get followed up. Yeah, on, did they now? Like two like years like late? Two years. Yeah. Sit <laughs> in their life could have been undermining them the whole time. And so they, they can talk about it for quite a while. In my particular case, when I went into, married into the family, there was particular narcissists who uh, were blatantly obvious about the mimicking. The I would have a conversation with them. fuck is this guy? Them, and then later on in that same Dude, evening, I would Dude, he's a professional. <laughs> I, I don't so. know, he's just a guy in the park. Conversation There's no within fucking... distance using the same words. They find a big audience with that because I think the problem is so widespread. There's tons, of, it's very popular. Well, I do want to go back to your first question of who is qualified to talk about this? And then you bringing up all the content that you saw of different types of people um, actually talking about narcissism. I think that's actually very helpful. 
if you are someone who has the mental disorder yourself or if you are a family member of someone who has narcissism. I think it's very um, beneficial for all these voices to be heard because narcissistic personality disorder, um, as you might have um, read from the research, is one of those disorders where it is very hard to get them into therapy or into a lab to study because they think that nothing is wrong with them. They're less likely to go to therapy and when they start going to therapy, they're 60% more likely to drop out of therapy. But I guess uh, thousands or hundreds of people of um, have noticed these same patterns and people are coming together and being like, oh yeah, I know a narcissist too. And like he does uh, mirroring. And even though it's not in the DSM, um, people are agreeing that this is, they've seen this in their partner or their friend or stuff like that. Dude, I wonder how rabid this guy's fan base is and how loyal. You know, if I got time, I might put this on the docket for an eventual video. I mean, I don't know if I want to do this, this striking, striking that big up fucking to make a video on nerd city in, but this seems it would, like, hilarious it would to be laugh well at. received by everyone who isn't a nerd city fan heavily disliked by nerd city fans and then he'll keep going on like nothing happened that's what happened with the willie mac chose shit and he had really good points and those videos are really good too so. mirroring boy we got mirrors in this story don't we mirroring is an interesting phenomenon with an ever-growing oral history when you search for Please copycats or narcissists or identity nerd. theft, there are so many anecdotes from victims who were thrown for a loop by close encounters of the narcissistic kind. Identity theft. The narcissist will steal your identity and become a twisted version of who you are while smearing them the whole time to everybody else. They probably disrespect you a whole lot behind your back, but then again, they're copying you, doing the things that you do, dressing how you dress, trying to talk how you talk. They can't give you credit. They can't. Oh yeah, man, like what you do there is good. She can't have oh, this world power lifter that she became this person. This guy's just a random YouTuber. So she has to Yeah, a lot them. of this advice. That. Yeah, that's pay mon money wubby. That's like just like a big ass Twitch Wait a streamer. Second. That's like L Ludwig or something. Like that's the equivalent. You know, he's just this like a big a Twitch streamer. He's a gamer. Is no fucking way. What? No fucking shot. What? He sourced pay money wubby. Wait, what? His Dude. Narcissism. I was literally replying to fucking uh, Ned City on that fucking comment that you showed up on stream, and he fucking deleted it. He deleted all the comments. He fucking what? replied to me saying what I was speculating on, and I told him, like, I fucking owned him in chat, and he deleted that comment. He, dele he deleted all the comments from that. Dude, he's deleting all the negative. What? He's spurging. He's spurging. Wait. He's a lol cow. Are you kidding me? Wait, dude, this guy is such a fucking lol cow. What it's gone. It's him, gone. Right? Wait, it's th there's got to be an explanation dude. for this, please. Someone, dude, someone just, get nerd dude, lawyer, he's a, nerd's lawyer. He, he's so paranoid about little criticism. Look how he acted when I fucking questioned that restaurant got your video demonetized like five years ago, and he still like hates my guts for Wait, it. Wait, Smaggle, insane, Smaggle, what'd you say? Uh, ba basically, like how how. I literally said the same thing I said to you, like the uh, having your cake and eating it too fallacy. Why are you lecturing people about fucking having this whole entire spiel about YouTubers who don't have psych degrees or whatever talking about NPD while you're at the same time showing people that you have that you're showing people that Sniper Wolf has NPD while me, you, that, f yeah, yeah, me, fucking nerd city, or psyched, we don't have fucking, co we don't have degrees Yeah, then it, Yeah, shit. so then he so deleted what it? What the fuck are we talking about? Yeah, he deleted it. And, you know, I know from, like, just personally, you know, sometimes comments get hidden, right? But only, if a comment would get hidden, it would only be your reply to his comment. His own comment wouldn't get hidden. That makes no sense. And it just because of Smaggle's yeah. reply, the whole thread of comments wouldn't now get hidden. So no, he deleted he literally it one hundred percent. Yeah, and that's dude, I think this that's guy's a trait a of narcissism. <laughs> dude, I think he's a narcissist. Dude, we gotta pull up he the fucking D comment. Who's got the he's DSM? He's deleting this stuff that's opposite opinion of his. He's so narcissistic he only can stand his own opinion. <gasps> dude. Oh my god. This. I'm god, calling up man. Donna IRL. Wait. This guy is rough. Really? That is so... Dude, Sm Smaggle Eternal W. Just it, always, always winning. Always winning the Smaggle. Can't have the world knowing that she became this person. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Maybe, you know what? Dude, he's I getting his psychology advice from a guy in a green... <laughs> a green screen suit with a monkey on his mic. 
called Pay Money Wubby. <laughs> Dude, who's the real professional in this book? No, no but no, I, I might have to put this on the dock. You know, I got the two mad. I got the plagued moth. Eventually, when Wilbur responds, I'm going to make a video on that Wilbur stuff. But Nerd City, one day, might, might, might be coming out. Let's see. So yes. she has to bury them. They can't give you that credit. They, they're not going to let you know. They're just mad at you. This is, too, no this is too funny, dude. This is too funny. Dude, hey, dude, these clips are just oh. such, like... They're not horrible... <coughs> Excuse me. They're not horrible opinions to, like, listen to. I'm going to diagnose you like, layman's. <laughs> but, um... Oh, dude, that reminds me. But he's using it as a there. genuine way to diagnose. But, I mean, it's absurd. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just like, well, listening to this is just, it, it's just like, like we, yeah. psychology 101. I don't know, I feel, like I'm, I, I, I feel like I'm in college and psychology 101, like, just listening to these fucking random clips of guys saying the most basic shit, like, narcissists, uh, they fucking are selfish, by the way, okay? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> Samago, what's this, uh, what's this tweet? Just this evidence that this tweet, that this, what I'm saying is real. You fucking... Let's see what we got here. Nerd deleted this thread soon after. This is all that remains. <laughs> snaggled it. Wait, what did he say? Do you know what he said? He said, what do you mean I'm insinuating or something like that? You, because... you, didn't, you weren't able to see the whole thing? <laughs> I, I, I didn't screenshot it because I thought he was going to... Re he replied to... he. This is the reply to my reply to him. And then... I, I replied to him after. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So post, post, yeah, yeah. post the other screenshot from my stream if you can to make this. Uh, make uh, this yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, dude, we gotta. I gotta blow. I gotta talk about this on fucking Twitter after the stream too. Holy shit, man! The crisis. This Here's is Jenna hilarious. Marbles. Oh, this makes me look much prettier than I actually am. Oh, I like this. I wow, dude, really fucking lock her up. Must be a narcissist for doing this shit. Through my process of remaking myself dude she's, dude she's copying jenna marble's face on a snapchat filter guys yeah, have you ever done like that before a goofy video with a bunch of other youtubers look under there she dude she was about to do blackface look at deji <laughs> dude deji right next to it what's the fuck blackface in that video what the fuck <laughs> Dude, she's doing black. This confirmed racist. Wait, this clip confirms she's racist. Dude, what's the criteria? You she's know, you're blackface. Black. Bla the she's criteria of racism. You, know, you got. <laughs> yeah. She's trying to copy. Wanting Marina to be Joyce. black. <laughs> Wanting painting blackface. You know, I don't know, man. It's painting this a picture. This is so stupid, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Much prettier than I actually am. Oh, I like this. I went through my process of remaking myself from the person that I thought was disgusting and inferior i hate my teeth but this makes my teeth look really nice can i just have this face I being insecure about yourself must be a narcissist dude this nerd guy this guy sucks this it's it's more than just yeah, something to retarded. laugh at this is really rough i just want her face i wanted it really i wanted stupid. to be like them but i didn't want to be them I, you know how my mind works i think i can be i think i can be a better version of them damn Jenna's eyes are pretty, and now they're my eyes. I'm like, damn, I like that about this person. So I would get around that person, study them, and take on their personality characteristic. Like how my voice was, I would intentionally do it for a while, and eventually it would just become uh, second nature. And I would basically train myself over periods of time. Now, after that, listen to this clip of Sniper Wolf lamenting how no one likes her laugh, and talking about how someone else would study the cute laugh of a famous person. There's a chapter titled... As the sniper wolf describes copying a cute laugh. Who cares, bro? What? This guy. This is the most cringe. This guy needs to get shit. laid, bro. Dude, this is like a PowerPoint. Someone, some, some like retarded kid in sophomore year of high school would make, <laughs> and get like a C on for just like a little bit of good effort put into. But their points <laughs> were like, just wow, ridiculous it's over and retarded. An hour. A lot of effort. Good yeah. job. This is absurd. For periods of time now after that listen to this clip of sniper wolf lamenting how no one likes her laugh and talking about how someone else would study the cute laugh of a famous person and then rehearse it over and over until they nailed it we get it her laugh is cute we all want a cute laugh but we can't always have a cute laugh so go and steal a cute laugh <laughs> why does that not work for me does this take a long time i wonder this is just a the, goofy okay. retarded joke yeah uh isn't why do you have me wolf trying to like sniper wolf? Why is she like isn't she supposed to specifically target like young teenagers for her yes. demographic? Yes, yes. So she's clearly acting there, like she's not 
Like, she wouldn't talk like that with the camera off. So why are we taking everything like she's saying, like, it's dead serious, like she's in a court of law or she's in a therapy session venting? Like, this, this is... Dude, it's literally, like, joking, acting. ridiculous. Like, And you're taking oh, dude, your, her content as a genuine admission. Dude, this dude, guy they, is like, so pretentious. They, like, play her laugh over and over and over again and just practice it in front of a mirror. <laughs> no, no, Nerd City is extremely unsocially aware. Like... Yeah. Maybe I should pull a nerd city and diagnose him for autism because he is very socially <laughs> inept. Let's like, pull it up. Extremely. Let's pull it up. You know what? Let's pull, you know, what do we got here? No, he what would pass got? the test for sure, dude. Autism criteria. What do we got here? Okay, let me make sure I don't fucking uh, box myself like last time. Right. He has Boblax disease and is incurable. Oh, yeah, Boblax. Those are funny. Boblax. Yeah. So if you didn't know, like you today, Lyric stops. Shut up. Himself. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I like how you also pointed out that I did that too. That's like really great, but I, I already cut it out in YouTube editor. But yeah, still. don't worry. It's, you it's didn't fun. know that though. So you need to I shut did. the fuck I did. I was up. watching his stream. Guys, unfortunately, wow, look, it's, it's, guys, unfortunately look, looking it's at the three up. levels of autism, it is now deemed that he has terminal down autism, malignant Dude. autism syndrome. Level one this requiring support. Smaggle perfectly. Lowest level, lowest level, Whoa. and highest functioning difficulty in initiating social interactions. That is hundred percent true. Decreasing interest in social interactions. True. Struggling with switching between activities. Very true. Organizing and planning problems. Uh, I don't. I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, this video is a little bit all over the place. Noticeable Whoa. social impairments, even with support. Problems with verbal and nonverbal social communication and cues. Oh, I don't think there's a more problem. telling. <laughs> yeah, more he literally, on. dude, he's having trouble. Struggling coping with change. He can't get off it. He can't be. He can't get off the narcissism train. I don't. I don't know what to tell you, man. Nerd City, it's not. It's looking grim for you. What do you guys think for the five? Very sad that Nerd City has Boblax disease. And oh yeah, you already read that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, how interesting. She already understands all this, huh? Damn it, I'll never have a cute laugh. Now, as an outgrowth of- Oh my god, the smugness. Wait, give me- Hold on. For me. Does this take a long time? I wonder, do they like play her laugh over and over and over again and just practice it in front of a mirror? <laughs> oh, how interesting. She already understands all this, huh? Damn it. That wasn't a good own. What? <laughs> Dude, he's so like, smart. And you and you know he's so sweaty with the fucking video downloads too. He probably has like a hundred. You know how excessive they were with the J Station video. He probably has like hundreds of Sniper Wolf videos downloaded Dude, over he's across watched like five years. Hundreds. Two random things. Yeah, literally. That are like very close to each other. It's like, ah, you got owned. Like okay. hundreds of hours to make these points, and this like, is you, the you, best you could come <laughs> up with. This is actually, wanna... dude. This is fucking embarrassing. Holy shit. I'll never have a cute laugh. Now, as an outgrowth of envy, here's how it makes sense. People will always just come at me and be like, Hey, you copied this. Oh, you copied that. The copying comes from the narcissistic feeling of entitlement. Because I want to do it too. They feel entitled to the admiration that someone else is getting. There will be times where I watch a really cool video from somebody and I really like the challenge and then I will copy their challenge. They want to take that good reputation and apply it to themselves, even if- Dude. I he hope needs you... to change his icon to the nerd emoji, just straight up. Like it's just, dude. His I name hope you go on so a, fitting. yeah. I hope you go on a crusade to uh, on ninety percent of YouTubers who see a thumbnail, copy the thumbnail style, who get inspired, copy it, who see a video idea, try to do it in their own way and copy it. I hope you go on this crusade against all these different YouTubers because you could use these same arguments against nearly all of them. But he just has some hard on for fucking Sniper Wolf. If it's unwarranted, even though it doesn't make sense. I'm just an accumulation of all the personality characteristics and traits Who is this? that I've admired in other people. Dude, I'm not really sure that any of my... A guy who's talking about narcissism on YouTube. Nameless narcissist. Oh. <laughs> my personality traits are earnestly unique to me. I actually somehow feel bad for this guy. Like, he understands what he's admitting to. Because his personality is constructed. And that sucks. The narcissist constructs his sense of self, the full self. Yeah, I'm a construct, whatever. I created myself. <laughs> uh, Is the totality. Dude, just think about the amount of hours that he sunk into this, like, fucking abomination of a video. Oh, dude, dude. Oh my god. That is yeah. just thinking well, about I mean, that. I mean, it, it's not, I'm not surprised because his other videos were pretty bad as well. But. Big 
Dude, big commentary videos have not been going well. First, there was the King of Nothing HDHD video, and now this. Wait, what so... do you mean? Wait, hey. King of Nothing? Did he make hey. a bad h 3 hd video? <laughs> uh, I, I, wa I watched the full thing, and Tom also watched the full thing. Uh, basically, he, he, he did a lot of uh, moral grandstanding in the video, saying like, oh, this is the worst shit I've ever seen with uh with not really that good clips but i did I, mean, in, uh, I i enjoyed the video overall it had some good points with the scamming but there was a lot of more grandstanding that i just well that gotcha. felt off if me. it's a two-hour video filled with opinions like you're, you're bound to disagree with a couple. I don't well, think that yeah. makes the video bad. Yeah, but. but still, it makes critiques. I bet, I bet if I saw the moral grandstand, I'd probably be like, this is retarded. Yeah there's, like, there's like, the, yeah, there's like one part of the video I think is not that great, but like the rest of it's like really good and really well researched. Mm -hmm. But you can't say big oh, commentary videos are bad. Dude, content cow Keemstar came out and it was fucking epic, dude. Dude, I got that yeah, on the wait docket. A second. Hold on, no, hold on. Content cow Keemstar? Dude, you fucking clipped out the 40 minutes beforehand where you, where basically Connor was talking worse mad shit. Like, it's understandable why Keemstar was so manic. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What? Debate. Okay. What are you doing? Talk Why are you reflecting it. so much? What is this? Imagine if every time you showed your a little glimpse of your real personality, you opened up to someone, you got beaten down as, and told that you basically are like an evil, psychopathic, shitty person. She is petrified that the world will have to know who she actually is. She's trying to train herself in how can I behave where people aren't going to yell at me. So what did she do? She became someone she likes. She became someone who she You're literally pay money wubby. He doesn't even give a fuck anymore about who he's citing. Like, pay yeah, money Yeah, uh, yeah, pay wubby. money wubby. Also... This guy's just like he, a random shitter streamer who plays games. Yeah. The worst and, Easter and games on also, stream. <laughs> like, dude, this guy's a fuck. It's actually kind of bad that he's, like, using these clips in that way. Like, did, did these people consent yeah exactly they're they making might, th that's the problem just, true yeah. it's making them look bad it's making pay money wubby yeah. look bad because a nerd city's trying to big him up to being more than what he's trying to give off as uh, yeah you know? and also an issue i have with a lot of this um especially with what pay money wubby said with all of this uh what is it mirroring discussion is that it also could a lot of these behaviors could be interpreted as masking which is a very common autistic thing uh, autistic women mask a lot where they like, um, you know, try to copy certain things from other people in order to like mask themselves as normal when they're really more autistic. Dude, malignant autistic. And that, and, and like that, like that. So like mirroring and masking are pretty similar. You don't want someone who's autistic to think that they're a narcissist by accident because of a nerd city video with pay money wubby in it. You know. Yeah. I wish this like, guy would I mean, have a conversation. It sounds ridiculous, but. I wish this guy would have a conversation, but it seems like he avoids any kind of confrontation. I was literally she gonna invite him to the fucking stream in the fucking thing. That's what I was but going to do. It. It. Then he fucking deleted it, yeah. yeah. Attractive, funny, and talented. People seem to like her and say she's a nice person. Let me just absorb that personality and wear it like a skin suit for myself. You would resent the person who's being this authentically because you can't really relate to it. You're thinking like, why would anyone be this nice? Yeah. Why does she not even have to try to exude this personality, whereas I have to fake it all the time? Yeah. Just so people will Do like me and continue to watch my source. stuff. When confronted by overwhelming evidence of her... Yeah, at least they were talking about not necessarily the, you know... Give to hopefully to hopefully save Colossal's ass. They weren't. He was only talking about specifically the copying of the behavior. But Nerd City's trying yeah, to use no, all of this as a broad thing. narrative, yeah, to paint this narrative. Her hypocrisy, thing. at the very least. What Sniper Wolf didn't say was, "Okay, you got me." Or, "All right, listen, I don't mean to send so much hate towards Azzy. Guys, don't attack her anymore. Do not harass Azzy for me. They will hurt others, exploit others, steal this from audio others. Is horrible. And they don't have any remorse. They don't feel bad about it later." Sniper Wolf's response to this video and to seeing all of the hate that she'd sent towards Azzy was not to apologize or tell her fans like not to go attack Azzy. She didn't admit that she copied her sometimes. There's nothing like that. What do you think of the two? He thinks everything is 100% authentic her? Yeah, dude. Did oh, trust Sniper Wolf to all <laughs> Dude, no. Wait, <laughs> no. Anna Oop. No, Anna fucking Oop. This shitting retard.
Are you yeah. kidding me? Dude, this isn't even rape news, but I just had to play the intro for that. Anna Oop, are you kidding me? That is so rape. Dude, these sources are so fucking great. Anna Oop, this girl, this T channel, this shitter T channel? Well, I mean, in compa- Oh my god. Okay, well, in comparison to these people, Donna is like a psychological no, 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 no. No, no, professional. No, no, come on, Lizzo. No, no, no. I mean, of no, course, no. in comparison to these, like, actual bottom-of-the-barrel yeah, like... tards. <laughs> the world does not want Lizzo to quit. Look at this I'm dipshit. Dude, I used to make old videos shitting on Anna Oop. I'm well, I'm well acquainted with her. Friend, girl, Lizzo just announced that she is quitting music. What in the hell is going on here? Lizzo has had enough and has decided to call it quits forever. But what is the true reason for Lizzo coming out with this announcement? Some say it's because of the lawsuit some of her dancers filed against. Are you kidding me? Dude, this video is a fucking riot. This guy is a riot, man. Oh my god, why can't I click? It's not let me click on my tabs. Dude. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? respond so sniper tries to come back <laughs> this was the most pathetic comeback yo of all com what henry yo, resilience henry Wait, dude, resilient dude now i know why henry was fucking <laughs> sucking this video nah, off he, he got did, a shout out he did, yeah <laughs> he was fucking sipping with this motherfucker he got a shout out and that's why he defended it i see the real i see the real game you got it going over here yeah it <laughs> Back. I have a backup of videos and screenshots before Dude, she changed the thumbnails to make it cringe. look like I copied her. I have proof she- Excuse me for the five. He used a Dr. Phil's a reference and he's not even a real doctor. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I didn't really know, so I, I wasn't gonna speak on it, but I, I never thought- I thought Dr. Phil was entertainer first. Doctor suck- He is. Whatever. He copied my thumbnails. SEO, the way I speak, the jokes I make- The way you're trying to manipulate this is fraud! This is fraud! I haven't had any- Okay, who is this guy? Luke AFK. Who's Luke AFK? I guess dude, dude. He his username sounds like Ethan is online or like Nick is not green. Luke is Wait, this AFK. guy's an Omegle YouTuber? <laughs> dude, dude, this, 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 dude, Nerd City just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he's a professional. Dude, he has 3 million followers. How can he not be a psychological professional? Dude, it's Dude, just like a you, trolling you psychologically Zoom class. Okay, okay. Uh, millions Omegle of people guy. follow him. He's posting people like Hey Wubby Tubby or whatever. He's posting people like Moist Critical. He's posting people like this guy. I I don't think he's talking about narcissism anymore. I think he's just talking about Sniper Wolf. You think yeah, so? I mean, it's hard. It's hard. Name. They kind of they kind of coincide together in this whole video. But I mean, uh, hey, I'll take your word for it. Marie, thank for the two. Doctor Phil had a license, but it expired years ago. Gotcha. I haven't had any caffeine. I'm just losing my mind. And then, oh, then it, it keeps going. It's like I have screenshots of you uploading the same video that. as me minutes after I upload on multiple occasions. She's got the receipts, sis. So she's like, oh, I got you. Dead to rights. I caught you, right? And those signatures and screenshots and receipts, sis, are this. Showing as he lands video at the top with 9.4 Wee Garvins. That's a lot of Wee Garvins. A community. Dude, this guy's really beefing up this video. You know, then came out of nowhere with he a He wanted big... to get this to an hour so Okay, bad. peep, a uh, peep, dude. People call, like, you know, daily commentary and other stuff, content slop. And, you know, if you want to call it that, I guess I agree or whatever. But you also got to call this type of shit content. This slop. is just a badly made video. To? Like, what yeah. am I listening to? What is the substance I'm getting out of this? This is the problem with like certain like commentary videos nowadays is that they just want to get to an hour, fluff it up with random talk and just try to make it look impressive. But you're not actually like getting any useful information or interesting thoughts. Yeah, just slop with more editing. Headphones. Yeah. Yeah, it's li yeah, it's just like fancy slop, bro. It's a bit, it's this, slop. This structure. Nerd City makes content slop. He's a content mill. Yeah, it's a, it's a fucking okay. garbage bag encased in you know gold. Yeah. Dan, I was thinking for the two fifty. Starting to see Mama Max parallels. Um. Uh, <laughs> Yearly slop. Yes. Yearly drama <laughs> slop. They just slop a big four hour video on your timeline. Steaming revelation that said, this doesn't prove anything. <laughs> video cited for evidence only have similar titles and don't contain the same thumbnail or clips. Showcasing that this isn't exactly the slam dunk she thinks it is. It doesn't even use the same clips. Only the title is the same. And there's other examples of similar titles being shared between them. This is so embarrassing for her. And, and she gets dunked on in the comments here and I'll show you that. Dude, too. if I see this guy's face and again, he's making me, you know, he's making Dude. me biased. I don't even want to throw strays like, at this guy tubby wubby, but he's making me biased against this guy. Just seeing his face. So many times. Yeah, it's just the use of this clip. It's like, why in this already long video did Nerd City think it was a good editorial decision 
to put pay one money wubby saying that like Lee is getting roasted in the comments or whatever the generic. <laughs> thing I see this he said. chimp like, one more time. What does that add? Yeah. What does that Don't add? It's already been said a million times. This was the latest comeback I have yeah. ever seen, dude. The comments cooked her. The comments. Everyone is replying with dude, all kinds of screenshots of her just blatantly doing wow, it. I think it's safe to say wow, that Nerd thanks. City and Azzy's countless Jesus. receipts outweigh your weird receipts that are for so some reason some, in like, Dutch. Leo? All these were garbins. We're stolen. Dude, he's he's got some. At least he's got some diversity on his channel. It, all of it is like Sniper Wolf sucks. I think this about Sniper Wolf. I think that Nerd City has great receipts. Okay, Nerd City, Sniper Wolf sucks. Sniper Wolf sucks. Some reason in Dutch, Leah. All these were Garvins were stolen. His video is so in depth. There's no holes in it. And based on <laughs> like why include that? Who? Dude, oh, that wait, that's hurts. a narcissistic thing, unironically. Dude, unironically, literally, dude, dude actually, though, actually, though, <laughs> yeah. Dude, gets glazed, oh my god, why do people, dude. That one hurts, just, that one hurts. Dude, people, dude, this is it, people need to make a content, tower, copper, new con, <laughs> nerd city, bro, this is insane. <laughs> This Holy is, shit. Dude, this video has no holes. Nerd City is the fucking video <laughs> master creator of our lifetime, of our generation. Nar in, the, in the narcissism explained video. Holy Are you joking? Shit. This is parody. This is like it's tipster literally level parody. of self awareness. This is tipster level of self awareness, in my opinion. Oh, someone like Nicholas Dioyo would probably make a video on Nerd City, but he was already bought out. He he dude. bought the NFT. He was already bought out. <laughs> he could just say he could use that and say I was scammed by the NFT as well and add it to the like pile. Dude, it sucks though, dude. I'm gonna lose the fucking Colossal's crazy follow over this, dude. It's over. It's I'm not. I'm, no. gonna, I'm gonna lose my connections to the higher ups, pulling the strings. Uh, Nina Chan, yeah. thank you for the 25. Hey, I caught a live. Uh, the Katie whoever uh, video was uh, sick. That intro. Oh, sorry. The Katie whoever video was sick. That intro was chef's kiss. Uh, I despise the internet's insanity when talking about SA. Keep exposing these fuckers, actual survivors, not victims. Thank you so much for the donation. Very generous. Thank you. Everything in the Nerd City video. Wait, go, let me see that again, though. <laughs> no holes. Dude, no holes. That's like, one, that's like one of the best, dude. Like Arvin's one of the best moments in YouTube history. <laughs> Fucking narcissism and explain. Or stolen. <laughs> His video is a whole bunch of clips of him, people dick sucking him. That yeah. are for some reason in Dutch, Leah. All these were Garvins were Your stolen. Receipts. His video is so in depth. There's no holes in it. And based on everything in the Nerd City video, as well as a couple of other things, that and it's revealed, not even really... like part of some other context that's important leading up. Like maybe if he said something after that was important for the video, and he said that before, and he wanted to include it, okay. But it's just that part and yeah. nothing else. Like I need to specifically scrub through Pay Money Wubby stream, find where he compliments me, cut it out, and insert it into this long project video. It's it does seem like Sniper Wolf directly himself. tried to copy from Azzyland. Sniper Wolf just quadrupled, you know, 10 x down on this and said, no, Azzy has been copying from me. Straight up hypocrite. Like, what do you want? Now, they exposed this in the video that this is what she does, and she locked it. It's locked. She private. And this is what happened. This, this is how you know you win it. Azzy what the fuck was that? This, this is how you know you win it. He's like flexing that he's blocked by Sniper Wolf. I've been, I got blocked by you over entering a cave. This is what he spent. <laughs> like what? <laughs> this is what he spent a year doing. This. Yeah. Right here. This is what it took a year to get this video out. Dude, holy. Jesus. As he had uploaded a few minutes after Sniper Wolf. And that, in Sniper Wolf's mind, was proof that Azzy had copied the video from her, which makes no sense. Now, the this reason that that's terrible, I'm sorry terrible proof that the music, but the, the, the fucking, that sound is just Azzy so was copying from Sniper Wolf is that you can't make an entire YouTube video in a few minutes. So there's no way she could have copied the theme of the video from her and uploaded instantly like that. It just doesn't make any sense. Not only a liar, but now you look dumb as hell. Thankfully, you know, the public could figure that out. Leo completely deflects the fact that she's stealing someone else's voice and tries to play it off like others are actually the ones copying her. She's been copying the way I talk for years. She's Dude, trying to- Dude, if I see this fucking chimp on my screen one more time. This monkey! <laughs> Obviously Just talking about the Abu out of here, dude. <laughs> obviously talking about the stuffed animal Abu over there, not the individual. Yeah. Okay. People see me. <laughs> Sniper Wolf is a crazy monster. The narcissist. Dude, I, why do they think he was gonna say monkey? <laughs> like, okay. 
She's retarded. Bumpy. She's trying to convince people she's me. Sniper Wolf is a crazy monster. Monkey. The narcissist will try to convince Monkey. the victim that they are the actual abuser because of their reaction. They make it seem like you are victimizing them. 10 red flags of a covert narcissist. Abuser because Number of their one reaction. Tactic. They make it seem like you- This is male like a covert video. Narcissist. Yeah, Nerd City still uses Facebook. That's the only reason. <laughs> like, Wait, what is no this? Way. Wait, it's the male covert narcissist. Dude, is he misgendering Sniper Yo. Wolf now? Oh. What's going on here? <laughs> Dude, Leia trans? <laughs> them that people have been doing Dude, this you got to lazy me. you can find enough you only think worse than a is he gonna teach us what projection means oh, oh my fucking god oh, is this a, is this oh. nerd a youtube video or psychology 101 like what the oh, fuck this is <laughs> this is what projecting means by the way here's what gaslight means next like oh yeah he put the definition, what is the DSMM5 No, it's definition. a whole chapter. Look at what the chapter's called. What is projection? Psychological defense. Oh, dude. I yes. need a psychological defense over the retardation I'm fucking watching <laughs> on. Like, holy fuck. This is... Dude, this guy's like <laughs> beyond autism, dude. This is wrong. I'm diagnosing him. <laughs> if you are dealing with a narcissist and you become the target of their projection, they will try to convince you that you're at fault for something that they're doing, or that you have some list of shortcomings to your personality that are much more relevant to them. They are accusing you of the very thing that they do. Wait, the first licensed psychologist in the video. Oriana. Let's go. When it gets aimed at you and it's a family member. Correct. Or it's a spouse. Projection happens with Let's go, every license. single narcissist out there. It's one of the things that's a universal. Narcissism and projection. Wait, that's actually really telling. He wanted to brag He's about projecting. this so bad. He wanted to mm. brag so bad about having a licensed clinical psychologist. Wait, why didn't you put that in all of the other ones? I don't know. Because it's a little not bit true. Weird. Yeah, I guess so. But also, With he's talking about projection. Isn't this video projection of him being narcissistic? I mean, he is including clips of people fucking just dick sucking him. No pushback at all. Yep. No holes. Yep. No holes. Okay, yeah, and if dude. you think that's a stretch, that's just as much of a stretch as Nerd City would do. So yeah. I'm, I think Every... he's a narcissist and autistic and yeah, retarded. Dude. If Nerd City saw <laughs> he saw himself from a third party lens, he would make just like a similar video on him. True. Single narcissist out there. One of the things that's a universal. Narcissism and projection go hand in hand. When a narcissist has a thought that contradicts their false self, they protect themselves immediately by directing it onto someone else. The narcissist is desperately fighting to restructure what is happening to fit a pre-existing fantasy-based narrative of how incredibly amazing they are. If they fail at some task, if they are facing a public humiliation, their ego rejects the shame right away. They drop it onto somebody else. If you work with a narcissist, everything that goes wrong is your fault and everything that goes right is their doing. I was carrying my team and I was yelling at them the whole the time. Cave onto me. Everybody, and at the end of the tournament, I was so mad because my team would not listen to me, and I got extremely pissed because we lost because of them. They blame you for everything. Wait, that's the comparison for anything. you're there bitching no about a video game? Yes. Wait, we all get bitchy in video games. I've had like Dude. the most badass people I know turn into whiny ass bitches when they play games, bro. That guy killed me. Wah, who dude, cares? you must have. Yeah, dude, teammate's so bad. You must have missed the beginning like, of this video. That that was. It was nothing but that. It was nothing but that. Taking clips of her playing Agario, Call of Duty, and putting that side by side by a whole bunch of doctors saying, and one thing that narcissists don't like is when they lose. Yeah, no shit, I'm dude. Everyone I'm came getting outrageous. the downloader out. I'm getting the video downloader out. This is insane. I need to the, archive this. This is like nuts. This man. video's parody. What the Actually, fuck? Actually, like completely. This, this is, is hilarious. I had no clue it was gonna be this rough. Like I knew it would have some good laughs, but damn responsibility whatsoever on their part. Diaper Wolf is the queen of deflecting blame and avoiding responsibility. There is a pattern. Who is that? Was that Anna Oop again? Part, Diaper Wolf is the <laughs> Dude, she's bad. <laughs> He's fucking back. Get dude. Oh, see what I mean, man? It's not it's not just calling out. It's not just like showing commentary YouTubers who are talking about the situation. No, dude, they're using these people as semi sources to show that she's a projection narcissist. Whatever. Do like, you know what I mean? Is that she projects and use that to back up her claim? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Henry Resilient is a compromised source in this situation because he's getting way too many shout outs to have a legitimate take on this he's he's too biased <laughs> the 
deflecting blame and avoiding responsibility. There is a pattern. You see, she accuses people of doing things that she does to cover up her indiscretions. Something that Snipe will actively, you know, comes at other girls were doing and calling them fake and calling them out for photoshopping when she in fact does it herself. And she's of course now trying to gaslight people into making herself the victim. She essentially just threw down the reverse Uno card and shifted all the blame back to him. Well, this guy's been harassing me. What you did is harassment. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. Bitch, you are the person that's creating drama. I can't, dude. Omegle can't. YouTuber. Snipe is just so clearly projecting. <laughs> I mean, she's talking Commentary about the very YouTuber. thing she's been doing. Yeah, she also accused me of faking hey, my gameplay. And I'm like, that's cool. Invalidate their opinion because they're an Omegle YouTuber? Yes. Yes. When I you're trying to diagnose like, someone, yes. I don't give a fuck about Cavos' opinion, these... Luke AFK. I know, I'm not blaming the YouTuber. I'm blaming yeah. Nerd City for using these clips to back up his um, case. Yeah, but even, like, I just think it's too clip-heavy in general. Even if it was a bunch of psychologists, like, saying, like, all these things back to back for minutes on end. Like, I don't want yeah, I mean, the point like, is displayed on the first like, like, 10 like, seconds. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, show like one or two or three or even five examples of people yeah. saying shit. Oh. This no, is like 20. too much, man. Injection. And yeah, there's some gaslighting in there. It's very obvious. I don't like you had a clinical psych. Okay, like, listen. Like, that is called. You had a clinical psychologist say this. Why'd you need Cavos and an Omegle YouTuber backing this up? Like, why yeah. did you need all these different things? Like, it's actually just a poorly made video. It's just, um, it just floats the video. Else. Yeah. The action. And yeah, there's some gaslighting in there. It's very obvious I don't fake my gameplay. My gameplay is dog shit. Like, if, if, <laughs> like if I was gonna fake my gameplay, I would pick good gameplay to fake. Take a moment. This video has Think to have like 20% of nerd talking. Yeah. In it. Say, I know this is absolutely untrue about me. But it's interesting that that person's making that accusation. Even back in like 2019, people didn't actually believe Snap Wolf was a real gamer. Projection is a tell. <laughs> Now we're on the dude. She said that she, but she said that her gameplay was real, but it ended up being fake. And she accused other people of faking their gameplay. She's a she's the, she's projecting. <laughs> God, man, this guy. Oh yeah, we're Somebody still on the definition of projection. Odds are, it's because they're experiencing it. Or they're doing. It. The concept behind the Sniper Wolf YouTube channel was. Dude, that imagine would play you had to learn this like as a class in psychology, but you learned it through the Nerd City video, this would be so hard to follow. Dude, I just, and also on top of all of this, I just don't care at all, you know, man? If she, if she's a narcissist, who cares? If she's projecting, who cares? Show me specific examples and actions of what she's done if you're gonna critique her. You know, like, show me the actions, man. What, what, what is this label game? It's so cringe, it just comes across as you reciting what you learned last week in your college master class or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Video games, it's also way such too as Call of Duty and or Metal yeah. Gear Rising, Revengeance, and record his gameplay. You've been exposed! Young would then prepare scripts for each Lawsuit exposes how Sniper Wolf faked her gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, dude, this guy's a grown adult. No one gives no a one fuck. Cares. What? Oh, Sniper Wolf's no not really a uh, diamond and fucking Overwatch. Dude, this is like a Spurgy like, fucking like daily commentary yeah. channel, like a YouTube topic being like Sniper Wolf actually fakes her gameplay. Like this is a shitter video that I would make in my beginning days of starting commentary. You know what I mean? Like that, like this is the kind of yeah. critiques you would use. This guy is supposedly supposed to be a sophisticated analysis commentary YouTuber. And this he is what this years. is his product. Recording for Shalesh to read on camera while acting as though she was playing the recorded video. Who is this grandpa? <laughs> what the fuck you is this? You mad catster. Dude, he's got like some fucking uh, classical museum post like uh, painting in the back yeah, of him. That's how you know he's a professional. So he's saying it was all fake. Fake! Remember that the narcissist is projecting that something that's very uncomfortable about themselves or something that they're feeling Onto you. Oh my god. I noticed that she does this thing where it's like projecting. Where it's like something that she is Why? guilty of and she will project it. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm bringing you one of my most epic ghost gameplays yet. And I get 113 kills yeah. and a chem strike. And yes, this is solo, by the way. She wasn't actually playing the game. He was doing the gameplay and she was just providing the commentary. Said lawsuit basically all but confirmed that the gaming content that she used to make was completely fake. She is constantly pointing out other fake channels. She is coping, projecting, oh my, she's been doing it since her...
Dude, I don't know. Can you, can you show me a license for that? Diagnosing her as coping? That she's on copium? I don't know, man. I'm going to have to see some medical certification there. Earliest videos. Guys, we're in the last stretch. We're on fucking eight minutes left. We're just trudging through this. This video is so Stretched in an hour mark. We need to, like, start a war against these, like, pretentious, fluff-ass videos. Yeah, this is... And you know he it's purposeful. An yeah. hour an hour and 22 seconds? Come on. So, True. yeah, he got... Video, videos like commentary, low-cal, saw these videos are, like, too long, too bloated. <laughs> but you said, you said it was bad because I didn't add 40 extra minutes to the runtime, so shut the fuck oh, up. 49. Yeah, That's get out of bed. It's basically like psychological vomit. It doesn't feel good, you know, like when you read some bad fish and it, it needs to get out of you. This you video feel feels like psychological back vomit, to... are you kidding me? The start of the video. <laughs> That's what the little comments meant. Maybe the red dress. The mirror that didn't belong in her house. Doesn't really go well. The attack on Fortnite. Maybe it's all starting to make a little. Dude, he's tying up all the loose ends. Now it's all making sense all along, guys. Oh my god. Belong in her house. Doesn't really go well. The attack on Fortnite. Maybe it's all starting to make a little more sense. I suppose. I was afraid to talk about this before, but like now I feel better. Things that people have seen a million times. Think of a million examples. Yes. Puzzled over, you know, like this contradiction between the clear insecurity of a narcissist. Underneath this is someone who is insecure. Oh. The longer you hear them talk, the more you realize they're compensating for something. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. But the contradiction then Still is everything me. that they're saying and doing. I think that internally they have this world that's like this. And then there's this outer image, this persona that is completely the opposite. And how do they have the confidence to do that when they're insecure? It's a paradox. Once the more you learn about narcissism. Dude, actually kill me. This is giving me like iDubs. Um like flashbacks on his podcast where he's like explaining some very like you know base level basic things and acting as if it's so profound when it's like dude you took like i, I learned this shit in psychology uh first course in high school man like uh, like come on this is like and he's speaking like he's some fucking profound professor this is just this is rough damn narcissism. i think the that's more you a understand. sign of narcissism like but, yeah ego? Yeah. and how that's possible and what's really happening. You might be less impressed by their grandiosity, maybe more sympathetic towards their vulnerability. Dude, and a, a sophomore in high school could have wrote a better essay than this whole video. Just maybe some admiration, some misplaced that's admiration is kind of real bad. Something goy slop, not even nutritious. Got my brain looking like 2019 Bobux. What does that mean? <laughs> Thank you for the five. Yeah, understand. Like they're living in a world where they have such strong defenses that everything is getting routed off of them onto somebody else. They can never fail because it, their ego will not allow them to. So it's a fascinating thing that explains like so much. Like what do we find interesting about celebrities? It's usually that they don't care. It's usually that they have some air of a lack of concern. So you see this this behavior of like, wow, this person really doesn't give a fuck. I wish oh, I didn't here we go, Kanye. What you might be admiring is a defense mechanism. You know. You know, I know that logically, but when you interact with an actual narcissist in person, it's pretty difficult. Hey. And I think one of the dangers of psychology is we can explain things. A flat. But we sometimes think, well, if you can explain it, then it's okay. Exactly. That's it. It's that fucking simple. We have to be able to hold in consciousness those two things. This is why they did it, and it is absolutely unacceptable. Their behavior is what their behavior is, regardless and of their behavior. Dude, we I could explain it. Again, Wait, the minutiae of it, like it's not acceptable. Does that make sense? Just because you can explain outro? something doesn't make it acceptable. Dude. I just can't. I don't care if you secretly have low self-esteem. Like, this is does all he a, expect a that Sniper Wolf armor watches armor. this and like head, hand, head in her hands like, oh no, I'm getting owned. Dude, I'm, I'm getting owned. I'm about to slip into Tipster's alcohol oh addiction God. after watching this video. Dude, Holy I'm about shit. To to a fucking deep slumber, dude. This is <laughs> making me Sleepy. No, unironically watching tipster streams is funnier because at least he's saying crazy shit like I want to like fuck everyone in chat, you know, so true self versus false self the man behind the curtain. This guy is such a pretentious freak. Holy shit. This guy's a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that's how we ended off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking psychopath. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know? fuck mm -hmm. this guy. You gotta be kidding. The Wizard of Oz. Dude, Could somebody's not got to give this to Tommy Z, no dude. Tommy Z would have a riot with this fucking video. ...is of armor type of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Pause. You gotta be kidding. The Wizard of Oz! Could you use a more worn-out metaphor? Do you humpa? I said malignant narcissist. Jesus. All time. I was only 
the audio. Not to understand the comments. On the next so episode of Nerdline, Psychopathy. I knew he was a psychopath. That's some psychopath shit. This is another psychopath video is coming. A part no. three or whatever. No. On her si next on her being a psychopath. Oh my god, we were joke. I was joking. What the fuck, <laughs> dude. He's really gonna call Sniper Wolf a psychopath. Dude. What? Like, I know Sniper Wolf is like a piece of shit and like retarded and shit like that. But I mean, come the fuck on. Sniper like, Wolf is just the scapegoat for him to use as an excuse to like, just like pretentiously study all of this like cringe yeah. mental health yeah, stuff like, and to just vomit it out on a YouTube yeah, pretentious like, video. People say they uh, that people like look too far into Pokimane and like criticize her too much or whatever. But I think those criticisms more match Sniper Wolf. Like people go like way too into Sniper Wolf, like trying to like figure out if she's a psychopath. Like what? I know she's like retarded, but this is man. Okay, wait. Oof. I understand the comments. On the next episode of Nerdline, Psychopathy. I knew he was a psycho- Psychopathy. Huh? That's some psychopath shit. This is maniacal psych- This is so- This is so, um, this is- He's actually so, uh... This is actually kind of, like, fucked up. To use these out-of-context clips of these other YouTubers to kind of, like, stake their credibility on the line. Where they're just making one-off comments like, Dude, you're coming across as, like, a psychopath yeah. right now. And he's genuinely yeah. using this to back up a real diagnosis. It's actually yeah. fucked. That's actually like fucked up. I knew he was a psychopath. That's some psychopath shit. This is maniacal psychopath. That is some next level psychopath action. Bro, that's some level one psychopath behavior. It is. We joke. We use that word too loosely on the internet. I think Sniper Wolf is mentally unwell. She lies. She steals. She docks. She threatens. She bolts. She cheats. She skinwalks as popular women. And she farts on their small dogs. <laughs> I mean, holy fuck. This is the person you two really love to put up. Aren't y'all glad I grew up to be a YouTuber and not a psychopath? You are in the presence of an alligator. Keep what a waste, man. What a, what, what a, like, a bigger waste than fucking John Swan or something. You know what I mean? Because, I yeah. mean, clearly a guy can, like, put together video. He doesn't have good structure. But at least he's, like, he can be a good editor or whatever. But fuck, when it comes to Dude. scripting, video ideas, or any of that creative aspect of these things, he's horrible. Someone needs to hire him for a tipster video. I'm glad I grew up to be a YouTuber and not a psychopath. You are in the presence of an alligator. Keep your distance. So, what's it like to be YouTube's dream come true? Uh, and also, okay, we're getting a little petty. What's it like to- Why does he whore out his wife? Or like girlfriend. This is this is a little weird. And there's like a lore to this too. Dude, he has this whole series on his channel where he like but like records his wife or girlfriend in booty shorts, like showcasing the back end of her ass, popping out of her shirt, uh, out of her shorts. And now this is like he's having her dress up for his video, or I guess it's also her decision as well. So this is just, I don't know. This comes across a little weird. Granted, this is not a huge critique, but it's just a little bit rubs me off a little bit weird. To be YouTube's dream come true. We're going in. Oh. Dude, these audio levels are cancer. They radiate bad behavior. With a I'll pass. Actually, it might be cringe. <laughs> oh, wait, I was tr Dude. <laughs> Malignant narcissist. Dude, he's making narcissism merch. Holy shit. Dude, where is the fucking merch Wait. Store? How ironic is that? Nerd City merch. We gotta sh we gotta check my this merch that you wear that displays me talking Gaslight about how other people are not girl boss <laughs> dude actually kill me dude actually I mean Holy. tipsters merch is worse but <laughs> dude this is this is getting close man this is getting close this guy is so pretentious. But, dude, dude I came into this stream being like, you know what, man? I don't want to be that hard. You know, I've heard, like, good things about Nerd City as a visual, like, creator, video maker. But as watching this, man, I, I, dude, it's just, there's no way. Dude. There's no way I could have been, like, fucking nicer about this. This is a his, joke. This is a complete his joke. His dumb friend that dresses up as the devil is also just as narcissistic and, like, retarded as him, dude. He ar argued with me on Twitter and he's like, 
sorry that I'm at the big boy table with big YouTubers while you're groveling in the dirt. I'm like, you play dress up for Jesus. Nerd City. Like, shut the fuck up. Uh, chinchil chinchilla in space. They remember. Thank you so much. Um, dude, but dude, this guy, this guys. guy's a complete joke. <laughs> this is a complete dude. joke, man. Uh, anything else in this description? All right, let's check this out. Malignant narc nuke. Just like we've always thanked the people who supported us on Patreon at the producer tier, I want to thank the people who've minted skulls in season two and who've come by the Discord and who I've gotten to know. And these people are literally the producers of the video that you just saw and the upcoming videos. I'll be more than happy to add more names and more avatars to these credits next time and to hopefully get to know more of you and more like-minded people in the server. If you want to support us by minting a skull, Okay, we're. Uh, I got granted, banned from the server. Granted, we're we're getting to the lower critiques, but this is weird parasocial dream shit. You want to get to know them. You want to be friends with them. Uh, dude, like, okay. Dude, I so, tried to, to do that, and he. The, that's when the cave rant happened. Like, dude, and I'm an owner. I own the NFTs, dude. I should be allowed in there to talk about my NFTs, but no, dude. Like, dude, you, you, it, it will forever be a viewer. To create a relationship, like I don't, I don't know, whatever, whatever. At avatars.com, connect the weird. wallet, and then hit the big red button. The beautiful Scam. shiny button. The button at it least has is meant went to up look in value. irresistible. Like the Ren and Stimpy button in Space Madness is what I was thinking. Don't press it. I regret it. Temptation to push the button, but even now beckons him ever closer. I have nothing to lose. Why not? If you haven't been through a process like this, our best researcher Ryan has a little how to. So this was an NFT you know, tutorial the at the end. You fuck it. There are 175 skulls left to mint in season two, and buying one of those supports us directly. Season You've two, never heard me say, and I don't think even... you'll ever hear me. Bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on this. You got any new comments? Man, this video just really isn't good. Bunch of clip compilations, fake. Really like this channel. Gay if delete. <laughs> w. <laughs> okay, if shit, delete. Though. Dude, okay, I got a... In case anybody knew, I'm probably sure, pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, dude, I saw this. <laughs> no, but I'm pretty sure dude, most of you Ignore text. Ignore the text. <laughs> I'm only trying to show the 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 Wojak. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm gonna be doing updates on this. I gotta put out a tweet. I'm gonna put out a tweet after this or something. So uh, if you haven't followed me already, follow me on Twitter for sure. Thank you for coming out to the stream, Bo Blacks and Smaggle. Thank you so much for coming in. Yes. Thanks. I'll for... see you all uh, very soon. Yeah, see ya. See ya. I appreciate ya. it, man. But, uh, <laughs> dude, what a joke. Oh, dude, holy, I was not expecting that. I'm shell, I'm taking it back. I'm, like, completely taking it back. Cover Lockout Live. We'll do Lockout tomorrow. I've already been streaming for, um, three hours or so. In addition to the other stream that I now privated. Um, but, dude, <laughs> I'm just, I did not think it would be that bad. That's crit. That's crazy. Dude, what happened? I mean, I knew this guy was all, always a little spurgy, but what happened to this guy? Dude, hours, hours were sunk into that video. Tens of hours, potentially, you know, hundreds. Um, fuck, that's crazy, dude. But uh, ladies and gentlemen,